Hello everybody, and welcome to the Order of the Dead Unicorn Cyber Samurai Saturday, where we play Legend of the Five Rings. I'm the Game Master and your host. My name's Corey, and Hello joining everybody, us and welcome. Ah, oh, shit! To the <laughs> Order time. of the Dead. I it's do that tradition. all the time. It's a tradition now. It's a tradition. I mess it all up. This is the worst show in the world, but I'm glad you're watching. <laughs> Let me introduce my cast. We have uh, playing Akomakage, Tarek. Playing Togashi Tatsuo, Matt. Playing I Shiba like Inoue. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> playing... I was jokingly saying I like to eat toast. <laughs> okay. Uh, playing Shiba Inoue, Josh. And playing Hida Nozome, Crystal. It's a snappy day. Mm -hmm. uh, before we continue on with the game, I'd like to thank our patron squires, uh, KMJH386, uh, Trevor Olson, and Andy Roberts. Thank you for supporting our channel. If you want to support our channel, you can go to Patreon. It's in the description below. We have three levels right now. We have the squire level which just shows your support and we'll give you a shout out in every video. Uh, there's the night level, which you will get a special gift every month. And this week's, this month's gift is Party Crashers. Party Crashers is an adventure for 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons where uh, a bunch of goblins take over a beer garden, get drunk, and mess with the PCs. It's, uh, it, it's insanely fun. So I hope... Uh, if you're interested in that, you should really pick it up, um, and it supports the channel. The last level is the Vanguard level, and that is, uh, special right now, where, uh, if you sign up for it, I will personally run you a role-playing game. We'll do it on Roll20, we'll do it just like this, only, uh, it won't be, it won't be televised. <laughs> it won't be on the YouTubes, unless you really want it to be. Um, but yeah, I'll create an adventure for you and your friends, uh, and that will be a, that's a real treat right there. But, let's get on with the game. This is the first episode of Mask of the Oni. Uh, let's, is this guy right here? It just came out, uh, sometime last month? So it's a newish adventure. What is it about? Well, you're just going to have to find out. But a small recap of what happened last game is all of the PCs were at Slow Tide Harbor. A holding of the uh, Casca family. Uh, who The Tortoise Clan, basically. Uh, they were there to save Otomo Hiroshige, who is a... Uh, not beloved by his family. He was an opium addict. He is an opium addict. But the, the crane came to the PCs, a crane named Shizue came to the PCs and asked them to investigate and trying to retrieve him. And they did. They did exactly that. Um, But they had to leave because they ran afoul of the Meho Sukai. Uh, they killed one, but they saw another one out in the lagoon, and that uh, that person escaped south. Now they're returning Hiroshige to uh, to Kakita Shizue. Yeah, Kakita Shizue at Broken Rocks Village, and I really don't have a map of this. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this up so you can kind of see a bit where they are. So here's Slow Tide Harbor. And Broken Rocks, I'm gonna say is, well, here's a bunch of Broken Rocks. Maybe it's there. Maybe it's a Delta City. <laughs> um, maybe it's down here. It's, it's south. That's all I know about this town. Broken Rocks Village, a small Crane Clan fishing community. So, uh, you guys make your way 
to that community. With our our uh, friend in tow. With your friend in tow, Hiroshige. Uh, it's been a couple days on the road. Uh, it seems like whatever trouble you tended to accrue in Slow Tide Harbor, it didn't follow you. So you're in the clear there. Um, you go won't to stop us from being paranoid. Yeah. You go to the the governor's house of this uh, this area of this village. And definitely, Pikita Shizue is there waiting for you. Just like she said she would in the letter. She brings you into the, uh, to the estate uh, and introduces you to the Kikita who are governing this place. You have tea. It's a lovely time. Um, and... Uh, Finally, it gets to the point where you get down to business. The, the, the pleasantries are over. How are you doing? You know, uh, how is your family? You know, I hope you had a, a wonderful time there. I hope it wasn't too dangerous. You know, you look well. Um, it seems like the adventure wasn't too strenuous. But you get down to, to, to brass tacks here. And she says, I want to formally thank you for rescuing Tomo Hiroshige. Um, oh, by the way, Doji Suzue is a young crane, very young, the same age as you guys, with half of her hair dyed black and half of her hair dyed white. Well, her hair is black and half of it is uh, dyed white. And she braids it into a ponytail that goes down her back in a striking <coughs> black and white alternating pattern. And the Akoma mysteriously hates her for apparently no reason. I mean, nobody knows. But yeah. there's something there. I'm like, I don't get it. So much sexual tension. <laughs> <laughs> so, Shizue says, um, I I'm very happy that Hiroshige was rescued. Um, can you tell me what exactly happened? Mm -hmm. The coma stays the in, almost the entire time we're here, uh, uncharacteristically quiet and <laughs> staring almost like daggers at the Kikita, but no outward hostility presented. Hmm. Well, well, I've taken notice of it before, but I still am not entirely too sure what's going on between the two of them. So. I can barely hear you. Saying, yeah. My character, my character's not willing to take the lead on on explaining what happened to her. He just looks very perturbed the entire time. <laughs> so, Matt, could you say again? <clears throat> so, as Togashi Tatsuo, I notice uh, the tension, but I uh, like, and I've noticed it since we first met, and we met Shisui before our uh, definitely uh, the last. What time. was it? The Topaz Championship the uh, ceremony. Uh, the, yes, Genpaku. Thank you. And I just didn't pry into it, so I'm just gonna let it resolve itself, unless uh, uh, unless there needs to be mediation. But hmm, won't say anything about it. Okay. Well, I will chime in and say, well, it took a lot of asking around, but um. We did manage to find uh, Hiroshige. Hiroshige. Um, <clears throat> it it actually turns out that um, there was some human trafficking going on in Slow Tide Harbor, and he had been captured. Um, this this man. Um, shoot. Do you have his name? Yeah, <laughs> somewhere. Where is? Are you talking about Bigaku? Gaku? Or or Azif? Yes, Azif. The smooth. Th this man called Azif the Smooth, a guy gene, was um bringing in 
opium and taking out people. And a few of those people ended up being samurai cast. Um, obviously, Hiroshige was among them. A guy named Gene. I hear that the tortoise do, uh, from time to time, consort with Gaijin. And it's troubling that there are Gaijin in Rokugan. I'm not sure what... I'd... Now that an Otomo is involved, perhaps the crane can do something about this finally. I certainly hope so. We can't have them taking people away. So what was the ultimate goal of this uh, Gaijin Azif? Uh, I really can't be certain other than to make a lot of money. Uh, From who? But, well, I, I presume from the, uh, the opium den owners selling them opium, as well as presumably selling off slaves. But he there was involved with a, a Maho Sukai. A Maho Sukai. Yes. A group of them. That is, w there was more than one Maho Sukai. There were yes. many... We were led to believe there were many witch involved within this heresy. We were only able to take down one of them. I'm, I'm speechless. This is this is a, a large threat. This is blasphemy within our realm. Um, so close to the these Mehosukai, capital, where are they now? One is dead. The other we only saw from a distance across the harbor. Yeah, we were too far off. And unfortunately unable to follow. Do you have a, any sort of description? Slender figure, hooded. So a There's, woman? I as far as we can tell. Yeah, it, you could definitely tell it was a woman. Ah. Okay. Then, yes, it was a woman. Do you know which direction this person went? Out to Maybe sea. Able to tell. Yeah. Yes. Actually, okay. I said it in the beginning of this game that she went south. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she went south. <laughs> so she went south to the sea from what we saw. We didn't pursue. She could have been headed anywhere in the harbor. There's a man that I want you to meet. This happened before you came. I didn't think much of it at first, but your story has uh, opened my eyes. Um, we'll, we'll talk to him in the morning. I think everybody here should get some rest. If I could bother you for some time, Kikita-san. Of course, but first, uh, I'd like to end this this meeting on a high note. Um, I want to thank everyone again personally for uh, performing this task for us here at the Crane Clan and in the Imperial families. And as such, uh, I would like to present each of you with a gift. Do the proper number of refusals before accepting. Before accepting the gift. <laughs> no, no, we couldn't present. We could not I have the gift. Possibly. possibly. <laughs> Whatever she hands me, I just slap it out of her hand. <laughs> Are you serious? No, I'm just playing. I'll wait until she shows me what it is, and then then I will either accept or obviously deny in a very outward fashion. So, she will present for you a courtier's hat one of those flat caps that <laughs> um that people of station wear and this one is adorned like an emerald magistrate would wear uh, Aww. I, I i will refuse politely the proper number of times 
and then refuse one more time, giving her a look saying, I could not accept such a gift from such an esteemed person. I was simply doing my job. Okay. I raise an eye. Everybody understands kind of what that means. <laughs> Went over my head. <laughs> um, <laughs> you don't even know protocol? <laughs> Yeah, it just, I basically just insult her as, the, and for her, it should be even more pointed because I'm basically telling her I'm not going to be your paid assassin. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> for uh, Shiba Anoe, she presents a calligraphy set. I also do the amount of refusal before accepting the calligraphy set. But do you ultimately accept? Yes. Yes. It is a fine quality set. It's um, very nice and is uh, presented with uh, Phoenix Clan Chops and your family clan's chop. Domo. <laughs> you have a deep bow? Um... For Togashi Tatsuo, you are presented with a fine shaving kit. A fine <laughs> shaving kit? A kit, yes. To, sh to uh, These are like razor sharp little shaving knives that you can mm -hmm. use like uh, like a razor, like a, that has like a soap that can get a, a good lather, that kind of stuff. So you can shave. Okay, so I'll go ahead and do the appropriate amount of refusals before ultimately accepting the gift. Thank you very much. That is a very pleasant gift. And for Hida Nozomi, <laughs> um, you get, you are presented with a charm that hangs from your blade. Ooh, cool. It is a tassel with dark blue and bl it's dark blue and black. Think about your bestie when you're whatever you're fighting. <laughs> <laughs> that I will. You know, proper number of refusals. Oh no, I couldn't possibly. And then graciously accepting it. Um, with that out of the way, she says, uh, this home is, uh, graciously offered by the governor for, uh, you to rest for the night. And in the morning, uh, we will be visiting Doji Hideki. Doji Hideki? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Diadoji Hideki. Oh, Daidoji. Okay. Sorry, excuse me. Daidoji Hideki. Now, uh... Kage-san, you wished to speak with me privately. Of course. Okay. Um... Well, if you'd like to go out to the garden, we can speak there if you... If you like. It sounds like a great... Uh, a great place to have our discussion. I'm sure it will be soothing for both of us. Okay. You go out to the garden. Um, the birds are chirping. There are some uh, seasonal flowers in bloom. <clears throat> Meanwhile, while this is happening, I'm actually taking out the calligraphy set and actually pinning out to the to cat sun <laughs> for the, the esteemed apologies for missing our meeting. <laughs> oh, did you say cat son? Cat son. <laughs> uh, nice. Um, as you walk out, she says, "I would be careful about refusing too many gifts like that. You might build a reputation." <laughs> oh, I'm sure asshole. that I might build a reputation in many different ways, but the reputation I seek to build is one of strength and independence. <laughs> Well, uh, strength, I see much of that in your future. 
independence is negotiable right now. But um, I would like to know what happened to uh, the man Kita, uh, Kakita Amano. I do not believe Amano will have much more... Um be much more cause of concern for anyone interested in his whereabouts. That being said, I have done a great deal of services for the, the Crane Clan, which is fitting considering they seem to need more and more allies nowadays. However, I feel that my time being a servant of your clan is coming close to an end. How, how does you figure that? I have done things for in service of your clan many times now. Whether it was uncovering the truth behind... Well, let's just say we took the, we took the pressure off of the minds of Potaru and your clan champion. As well as serving your misdeeds that were necessitated to I have had I have no misdeeds I I do not understand at all your, what you your, speak of your clan your clansman has been taken care of oh well your Akomo friend has been rescued from the likes of witches I have done a great many things and made sacrifices for your clan and it is time for me well, to worry about the clan, the the fates of the empire, rather than simply the fates of your clan, or the whims of its members. So, I, what I don't understand is what you believe you have to negate the debt you owe. I owe no debt, as oh, I see it. Really? For your misdeeds, your punishment will continue. If you believe that I have misdeeds, indeed, call them out, and I will stand on the strength of my honor and the testaments of my superiors to my honor. Is that your decision? You wish for these misdeeds to come to light. If you wish to try to insult my clan and family and myself as an Emerald Magistrate who is proven to be accurate, effective, and honorable, you bring nothing but shame upon yourself to do so. She laughs. Akoma-san, I'm sorry, Kage-san, it's, um, you, you are very lucky right now that we wish nothing from you. We are quite happy with what you have done for us. But we will check, we will test your conviction in the future. And I assure you, you will not find my conviction lacking. That we will, uh, that I will take as a challenge. Well, um, this conversation has been enlightening. Perhaps uh, we shall pick it up again one day. Perhaps. I hope you enjoy the garden, and um, I will see you tomorrow morning. Indeed, as duty uh, uh, requires. She'll give you a bow. I give her a a short nod. (laughs) She'll walk back to the the manor house, leaving you in the garden to listen to the the birds chirp. I will stay for a while. <laughs> so, um, the next day comes, I assume? Unless there's anything <laughs> else you'd like to do? Do it right. I'm sorry, excuse me. Um, I'm gonna go with Matt first. What, what were you saying? Uh, well, just saying. I'm chiming, uh, chiming in, um, uh, Sorry, Josh, were you trying to say something? Oh. Okay. All right. So 
like from the outside looking in, it looked like that she would have probably like said, "All right, you know, everything's done." But you know, you just kind of poked at the embers. They're like, "Oh, okay, he's being a little presumptuous about himself." All right, we're we're, uh, we're, we're gonna make sure to give him a few more tests. Then is uh, the feeling I got from yeah. That. <laughs> Sure. Josh, you were saying? Um, was I successful in writing my, my composition to uh, Cat Sun? <laughs> to whom? <laughs> by Yushinaizu. Uh, uh, scorpion. scorpion. Mm -hmm. By Yushinaizu. Cat I was writing to him apologizing. Oh, for yeah. Him. You were, weren't you? Yeah. With the new calligraphy set. Just that... you, you can definitely write him a letter. And uh, you can start a correspondence with Naizu, definitely. There's places where you can get a messenger in town and they will deliver the message for you. Okay. Excellent. That is something definitely you can do today. In fact, um, the governor uh, invites all of you to use his study to make reports back to whomever you need to, including uh, the the uh, castle of the Emerald Champion for you Emerald mm -hmm. Magistrates to I'll definitely take use of that your daimyos or senseis uh, your elemental master that sort <laughs> of thing I'll go ahead and write to my head priest excellent paper. <laughs> just mm -hmm. write this is that Yokuni the champion uh his matt matt has a a a, a sensei of his own a, a, a sensei lower down on the uh, the chain than yokuni <laughs> oh okay I, I was a little lost there i'm like yokuni yokuni what? is the uh the Tugashi. champion yeah is yeah. the champion of the dragon clan and he's oh. a he is a, a, a sensei and he's also the head of the monastery, like the the Tagashi monastery. But that might Corey's probably right. You probably do have somebody like more direct above you than going directly to your champion. Mm. Not that yeah, the champion just a higher status monk is what I see on my uh, twenty questions. Yeah, yeah. Um, not that the champion, the clan champion Yokuni, wouldn't be available, uh, but he's a bit aloof, uh, kind of above it. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll just, I'll just uh, also send him a proper, uh, like a nice, fair, proper greeting, greeting to him if I ever interacted with him in the past. Nobody knows. <laughs> it's a cone. Who knows? <laughs> so the morning will come. Oh wait, crystals has has <laughs> disappeared. Yeah. Uh -oh. uh, as far as my letters back, I'll I'll definitely send a very detailed report of everything that we encountered back to. Uh, the Agasha. Um, there hasn't been any change in, in status for the Emerald Champion yet, right? We didn't like go and then they had a championship. I don't think so. Okay, so so yeah, if I still know that Agasha Sumiko is the uh, the acting Emerald Champion, I'll send it, uh, a report back to her and the Emerald Magistrates to report in what, what we encountered there. Hmm. Um, this adventure that we're in right now takes place in the year 1123. If that means anything to you, Tarek. Okay, yeah, so we're still before the next championship would, would happen. I'm sure by the end of this adventure that it will will have happened. Yeah. Um, because y'all have to do a lot of traveling. And then uh, I'll, I'll send back letters also to my, like, dime, not, not my daimyo, but my sensei at the Akoma um, board school. Mm-hmm. And, uh... I think that's I think that's it. I think those are the only people I really have to to report back to. I don't think I have to send anything to my daimyo. Do, like do you all do you all uh, report in about a Meho Sukai you are in pursuit of? Yes, and I will yes. actually in in my letter back to my sensei, I will inform him that we heard the name uh, Kitsu dropped by one of the the witch. Aha, uh -huh. that's that's very important. Yeah, I did not I want to give that information to the crane because fuck the crane. Yeah, I know. I know you didn't want to do that. <laughs> yeah. I was 100% like... Sumiko, I will definitely tell Sumiko and my clan champion or my, my daimyo, my, my chain of command that that's what we heard. 
Okay. Can I like, go over in detail. Over? We did not see particularly see a kitsu, um, but that was what what the what rumor had. By the way, I just want to say hi to Trevor Olson, who's watching us uh, in the chat. He's also our patron squire. So thank you, Trevor. Thank you. You're awesome. Continue you being clever, much. Trevor. Cord your hat that I refused off to you. So the morning comes. I didn't want to move on without you, Crystal. So the morning yes. comes. Sorry. And uh, um, Shisui takes you to see a Crane Clan Samurai by name of uh, Diadoji Hideki. Um, Hideki lives in a very small cottage. Um, he is one of the, uh, he's one of a few guards who protect this village. I already like him. He says, uh, greetings, samurai. Uh, thank you, for Shizui, for, for bringing these emerald magistrates to me. Um, please come in. Uh, I have some tea. Uh, my place isn't very big, but uh, I hope you enjoy the hospitality. It is as luxurious as a. I... It's imagine. very Spartan. It, it seems a little crab-like in its in its <laughs> Spartanness. Yeah, I like him more and more the more you keep describing this stuff. Feels like he him. has will be very kind and and warm, welcoming to this guy. He has uh, in the room where everyone's sitting. There is an immaculate set of heavy armor. That's been polished to perfection. <laughs> I will kind of look over his his armor with a with a bit of pride and like um, inspecting his, this his craftsmanship. Give it a Big black shiny mempo, good look. which is a mask basically. It's a mask. Um, Hideki, after the pleasantries are done, he will get down to business. And he says, uh, so Shizue, I'm sure, wants you, wants me to talk to you about what happened a few days ago. Um, I was on my guard patrol. Uh, we don't, we don't go in groups. Usually there's not a lot that happens in this town. Usually one samurai is, is enough to deal with any problems here what I know of the Daidoji, I would not expect anything less. I was attacked by unknown assailants. I was waylaid and blindfolded. They seemed intent on collecting my blood. Ooh. But, but fortunately, they were uh, stopped by the timely arrival of a group of fishermen. They were after my blood. That is unsettling. Yeah, the obvious scars that would be recent. Yes. And he'll present his, his, the scars that they use on his arm to uh, blood let. Rather strange. But no, I've seen this type of thing before, haven't, haven't we? Just very yeah. recently. You say you say that that a group of fishermen were able to subdue your captors? No, um, there were my my captors were a few. Um, so when the group of fishermen arrived, uh, they outnumbered them, and so they fled. They didn't stick around. Okay. Quite a lucky break. I'm I'm glad to hear that you were um that the fortunes shined upon you. They may have saved your life. Quiet. Are your other fellow guardsmen aware of uh, this potential threat? Yes, we've been on alert and we've been scouring the countryside, but we have not found anybody. Were you able to identify any of the assailants? One was a woman. I know that for a fact. She asked me a question. Interesting. She wanted to know. Writing down notes. 
She wanted to know if my grandmother was a Haruma. Hmm. Was she? Indeed she was. That's very fascinating. I will take down note of that exact thing that they seem to have known the lineage. Was that before or after the bloodletting? It was during. I was blindfolded at the time. I see. How would, would somebody? Yeah, how would somebody just know my who my grandmother was of all people? There are a few individuals, mainly historians or those who would keep track of birth records. I could think of a few types of individuals who might be specialists in this field, but that would require her having some infinite, in, intimate knowledge of you as an individual as well. Are you saying there's a historian Meho Sukai? <laughs> Not necessarily, but somebody it's... who is certainly in tune with lineages. It could be anyone from a scribe or... Or perhaps she simply got the information from some such person. Precisely what I was about to say. suggest next. Uh, oh, oh, Seely, my character does look kind of, uh, actually, let me, can I do like a, a well, composure? I don't know if there's something to do composure, but I'm trying to keep my on because this sounds like somebody who would be very, very understanding of lineages, which sounds a whole hell of a lot like a kitsu. And we did just see a woman escaping it who was suggested to have been a kitsu. If you're struggling to keep your composure, I, I would say just give yourself a point of strife. Okay. That, that, that would makes that makes the most sense. I agree. That that'll fit. I'll give myself a point of strife. As you'll see like little beads of sweat start forming on my forehead. Hmm. Is it a little warm in here? Yeah. <laughs> your, so, your cottage, it's so oh, I'm just bristling at your manhood. And everything um, that's being said or uh, being thought of just goes over my head. As per usual. So a Kitsu is a Lion Clan Chigenja. They're known, renowned for being uh, devotees to history and, and ancestry. In fact, they don't perform normal magic like every other Shigenja does. They use spirits, at literally the spirits of our ancestors, to empower their abilities. And if this person that we, when we were back on the ship in, the, in, the, in Slow Tide Harbor, uh, Gaku, the Mehosukai, mm -hmm. when he came onto the ship, Asif or Asif said uh, the Kitsu isn't going to like this. Ah. And that led my character to believe that the woman who escaped on the boat was actually a Kitsu. And if this guy was assaulted by that same woman, she would definitely know about lineages and about his family's genealogy. It would be easy for her to recognize that. They have special abilities that allow them to understand lineages and ancestry of anybody that they come across. Uh. So that's why my character's <laughs> uh, beating sweat on his forehead because he's like, oh shit, if the Lion Clan is any way in implicated in this, that's a very bad thing. Uh. <clears throat> but he's not saying any of that. <laughs> so well, my character would be totally ignorant of it too, so it's like. Probably. Yeah. Hideki continues on and says, um, since we didn't find any evidence of them coming or going, I assume they escaped by boat. Interesting. Well, that is quite, <clears throat> quite indeed a, uh, a harrowing tale, uh, Daidoji-san. Um, I'm glad that you brought this to our attention, myself and Shiba-san. Um, are, are, have been accepted into the ranks of the Emerald Magistrates, and this is definitely something that would fall into our purview. Um, if you would not mind, we would like, or at least I would like to investigate this a bit further. These are sub su uh, substantial claims and claims that we ourselves can uh, lend weight to. Um, however, I would not seek to step on the, 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 on the toes of your own guards or the governor of this of these lands. Um, is there a proper protocol that we would be requested to follow, to follow up with yourself or any of your fellow guardsmen? Shizui pipes in at this time and says, 
Um, we can oh, just. Oh, she's still here. Yeah, she well, says we can just. <laughs> uh, we can continue to uh, make this part of the same investigation that uh, that is part of uh, Atomo Hideki. There were new clues that led you to Ameho Sukai. It is an unresolved issue, and therefore it is the same case for the Emerald Magistrates. Perfect. I am glad that you uh, agree that these are all connected. Uh, the Hideki says, are, are there any more questions? I'd like to help in any way I know. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Where where were you when this this uh, encounter took place? I was, uh, I was patrolling the uh, southern road that leads down the uh, the cliffs down the cliffside. I see. So you were very close to the beachhead. Indeed, I was. Take um, notes of that as well. The assailants came from above. Above, you say? Were you down below the cliffsides? Yes. They use the cliff as cover. Now, the Daidoji have been renowned, at least among the ranks of the Lion military, <clears throat> for their situational awareness and ability to fight off most assailants. Um, is there any chance that any other uh, ha inhabitants of these lands may have come across these same assailants? Any chance that they might find refuge nearby? That they that they attacked other people? Either attacked other people or might find refuge with those people. I... There might be uh, bandits that could give them a safe... Excuse me. Uh, uh, safe ground to go to further inland. Further inland. But if they escape by boat, I mean, we've checked all of the roads and all of the ways uh, that they could have escaped to by land. We and assume, no trace was found. We assume they left by boat because um, we couldn't find anything. As of people in town... There, there was no other attack. Nobody has reported an attack. Uh, I see. Which means they came after me specifically. Indeed. Is there any reason why somebody would as would target you? My Haruma ancestry, apparently. You don't know of any other enemies that might be politically motivated or um, have any reason to target you this, this far away from... I'm well liked in this town. I mean, I do have. For, forgive me for saying, I I do have a tab, at the local sake house, but we're on good terms there. That, that I, I, I would not think that you would have any reason for anyone in this town to to despise you. Um, I was thinking more across clan lines. Anyone from the crab who might be looking to. Uh, to end a, a a a spot of lineage or or uh, we do any, harass any... we do harass the mantis from time to time that come through here. They've been known to pirate our vessels, and when we see them, we make sure that they know that they know they are unwanted in these waters. Hmm. Interesting. So they may they may be willing to uh, harbor any individual who might be looking to assault uh, guardsmen in these lands. If the, if the boats fled south, which is a, a large possibility, the boats were heading south. Um, that's Mantis lands. Well, that might be a, a a clue that we might need to follow up on. Um, is there any way that we might be able to patrol the same area that you were in when this? Sure, I, I'll bit. definitely. He'll show you. Uh, we we can go right now if you like. Sure, that okay. works. Um, 
down to the south of the village, there is a road that hugs close to a cliffside that is next to the ocean. The ocean is nice sandy beach. Um, it's a great place to like bring up any type of boat. And uh, the uh, the cliffside is very unstable. It's got lots of rubble coming down it. And he says, uh, this is our namesake here. This is Broken Rock. This is uh, the Broken Rocks of Broken Rock Village. <laughs> Quaint and blunt. I like it. I'd the, like uh, to the cliff isn't very high. It's uh, it, it goes up 30 feet in some places, but in most places it stays low at around 6 to 10 feet. Okay. I'd like to look around the uh, the area to just see how this, this scenario might have played out and see if there's anywhere nearby where, where they might... Well, actually... Once you were, I'll ask the Daidoji, once you were um, found by these fishermen, um, were you able to ascertain where they had taken you to do this bloodletting? Oh, no, they did it right here. Here, indeed, in front of the waterside. How bold. That's why the fishermen arrived and were able to help. One of the reasons why we take such pride in the the, uh, the peasantry in Lionlands, I'd say that that it probably extends here to this village as well. Uh, I will look around the area to see if there's any signs of of, uh, of what had occurred. I'm assuming it's been days at this point, so there might be little trace of what happened. So give me a tactics um, theorize. So fire, fire tactics, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to use Fukuro Kujin's blessing because I'm theorizing about what could have possibly gone on here. Sure. So I'm going to get I'm going to get a bit uh, a bit Holmesian. Ooh, get cracking, Holmes. Okay. Well, I get to reroll two of these, so I'm going to reroll the one with the strife on it, and I'm going to reroll the um. I'm gonna reroll the the success, <laughs> the successful um, skill die. Okay, you're gonna reroll the strife and one success. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, shit. Okay. Well, I get to keep three of these, so I'm gonna keep the uh, the explosive success. So let me reroll that one. Great. Too bad. Fantastic. Uh, so one. You have three successes. Two, three successes. Three successes. That's all you're keeping? Three successes? He That's all I can keep. keep. Yeah, I could keep an extra like if opportunity, keep, but that that gives you a strife if you keep the. Uh, yeah, the... I'll take the strife. Okay. So no I opportunity, more, just more successes. More to be accurate here. No opportunity, just successes. Um, you find the place where they were hidden. Um, this area is uh, a great place where you can look out and basically see things coming up the road and stay hidden. Interesting. Um, just on the other side of this place, the the road turns and there's a place like a rocky outcropping where you could bring up a boat or you could fish off of it. Interesting. So this is probably where they hid the boat that they took off on. Okay. I will point it out to the group. I don't know if y'all want to do anything while I was doing that. Well, I mean, I'm there to help you out, so, like, uh, if I can do some mental note-taking myself, it would be a good idea. You can summarize or theorize here also that if this boat went north, that 
Well, if the fishermen were probably coming from the village, so they were coming south down the road. So if they escaped north, the fishermen would have been able to see them. So some other fishermen might have gotten a, gotten a glimpse of what if they if they they hid their boat up to the north of where they were hiding. No, okay, then... I'm not describing it properly. So the the road comes down this way. There's the cliffside here, the cliffside here. Right. Uh, let me let me let me just describe it. Let me get a new page here, and we'll pull it over. Are you gonna make us a little drawing? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna draw. <laughs> oh, awesome! I love didn't it. know that was a didn't know that was a thing on this site. I can yeah, do you can that. Draw. Yeah, I can draw. Click the paint. It's not gonna be it's not gonna be the best drawing, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna draw a poop while you do that. Is so, that going to be bird's eye view, or are we here's the coastline? Uh huh. Right. And uh, actually, we'll say that's the cliff side. And we'll do blue for the coastline. And here's the coastline. Okay, so the ambush could be set up right here. So as they're as they can see out this way, and they can see out this way. And people coming from here won't be able to see them here. You got that? Yeah. So as the Diadoji came around this way, he was waylaid by them. Right? Mm -hmm. Jumping on him from above. And then there is a rocky outcropping right here that kind of goes out into the into the ocean water oh over here to the south to the oh i thought south. you meant that, that was up here somewhere. so this is a really good like natural pier that uh, uh people can fish off of but you could also like put a boat there so if there was a boat there right if the boat went north anyone here like the fishermen would have saw it. So Which what means I, they wouldn't have to be guessing whether they left by boat because they would have known. Exactly. So they had to go the other direction. I see what you're saying. Okay. Those darn miscreants, they peed into the ocean. <laughs> I'm just using different colors, <laughs> so, okay? So this explains why they expect they expect that the boat went south. I thought you were saying that it would have made more sense for them to have gone north and that the story wasn't... No, I was saying if they went north, they would have been spotted. I see what you mean. Okay. So everything's holding up. From what, from what the Daidoji told us, everything seems to be falling in place, given what I've been able to ascertain at the scene. That's good. Okay, I'll point that out. Uh, all, all of those things out to the uh, to the group. Um, Should we investigate the uh, fishermen and ask them there? Of course. Uh, the diet OG Wait. says I I know them personally. We can go talk to them. That would Thank be you. good. Okay. Um, he says at this time of day, uh, they might be they might be fishing actually at this time of day. So we'll have to ask to see where they are. Um, but other than that, I'm sure we could track them down. Let them get their, their day's work in. I would not seek to take away their livelihood or the, the fruits of their labor to their Lord. Okay. Um, is there anything else anybody's doing at this, this investigation site? Aside from bringing along Momo, I'm just paying attention to what's being said. Well, yes, Momo, the dog, the Shiba Inu. Yes. The happy puppy. I'm going to I'm going to take notes that like like sketch a little picture of what we saw here at the scene. Mm -hmm. Clever boy. All right, you do that. That happens. You get a sketch. You can take a screenshot of this if you like. <laughs> 
It is a masterpiece. Um, Also, I I will ask the Daidoji, is there any way that I could um, speak to you more on your heritage? Do you know much about your Haruma ancestors? Oh, um... Um, his Haruma ancestor... Uh... If, if he doesn't know about it, I'd be more than happy to go and, like, read about it in, in their like, local studies or libraries. <laughs> yes, was your grandmother well-known? Um... Give me one moment. Sure. Yes. Um uh his uh his grandmother had uh, a multitude of of kids. Um and one of the treasured heirlooms that they had uh was given to a daughter who married into the Yasuki family, the Yusuki family. Spelled volume with a C. <laughs> um, he knows his cousin is Yusuke Keji, who lives in uh, Clearwater Village. So if this Meho Sukai is after me, maybe uh, she might be also after Keji. Uh, y- Yusuke Keji. Well, Edgy? perhaps yes. we should like see to it that he is warned just in case. K E I G I or J I K G. K G. Okay. So I'm going to show you on the map here where Clearwater Village is. If that's okay. <laughs> Great Day Castle. <laughs> Clearwater Village. It's not on this map. Yes, well, neither is Broken Rocks. Um, no, Clearwater Village, I know where it is. Okay. I, I know exactly where it is, though it is not on the map. It is on a different map that I own. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'm going to still show you kind of where it is here. It is on the other side of the river. From, Haru- from Hida Castle right here. It's all the way to the south. Yeah, I thought so. I thought that was because that's where that's where a big battle was fought, wasn't it? I'm not sure, but uh, positive Clearwater Village was a like a uh, a title battle happened between the Yasuki family and the and the or during the Yasuki cl- family switch. I don't know if that's a new five R, but old five R Clearwater Village was a. The battleground. So I, I do. <laughs> the crane and crab fought a war over the Yasuki family before the Yasuki switched sides. Here we go. Friendly traveler village. Oh, my mistake. It's on the other side of the the, ri- the river. It's actually here on this side. Like right about here. <clears throat> In fact, it's on this map. If I can show you. I'm not sure you can see that, but yeah, here's right Clearwater Village and here's Hita Castle. To the best so of its blurry part, so. yes. to the best of its blurry ability. So it's a, a I'm sorry, it's really blurry. I'll make sure next game that you have a better map. <laughs> Alright. So so because they couldn't take out this Daidoji, 
they might target his what what is that his cousin yes so this is where you are now hold on hold and on i have this is where you need to go <laughs> yeah we're right like where up here are we now you're up here ah. where the delta the otis energy delta is okay ah. that's what i thought Somewhere and you have to go there. all the way down here south to Crablands. Yeah. Oof. Oh. Well, that's a quite the travel. Let's get crabby. I wonder if I should speak with the Kami, the water Kami, to see if uh, any um, both. You might be better off speaking with the earth Kami here, but I don't know if you are permission to that. people passing through. Well, that means that we have a lot. We have a lot of villagers here, so I don't know if that would do any good. Speaking, because the Earth Kami just know of things passing over it, rather than I'm. I have a feeling that they might remember the spillage of blood on their shores more than the traveling of feet. But I am simply a samurai, so I have no, no knowledge of what the Kami do or do not interest. Yeah, that's the thing. Hey, I'm, I'm only able to ascertain uh, certain knowledge from the Kami. So, that's why I was wondering, if, you know. Hmm. Well, it's up to you if you want to cast a ritual or spell. Uh, you have interesting powers that you can use. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking, because, you know... Oh, I'm just, talk with... just cast a Mayo spell and see if any other Kansen is going to be here. <laughs> that's, that's straight, you know, that's pragmatic. You dishonor me with that speak. I'm no Maho. User. Hmm. Well, blood into the earth. That wouldn't lead us much anywhere because it'll just be like, okay, yeah, we absorb some earth. It'll only tell me um, facts about the area. <laughs> That's what I was thinking about talking with the water coming to see if any any vessels did not partake of the sea. So that means boats that weren't fishing, but... Recognized as a local boat. Exactly. Okay, you oh, can cast... Oh, you can do a ritual to importune your kami. You can okay. cast that. That is definitely something you can do. Go ahead. To importune? Yes. Here's the thing, though. Before you cast it, um, it appears that this area is a bit Im imbalanced with the kami. Especially the water kami here. This is especially strange. While within imbalanced terrain, the TN increases for your theology check by one. Oof. Okay. For theology and meditation. Things are a little off here, and it's probably because there was Meho cast here. Can yeah. I assist? Maho, excuse me, Maho. It's Maho. Yeah, just cut yourself and accept all the uh, cancer in your veins. Unless you <laughs> specifically have the ritual, I don't think you can assist in this. Oh well, I do have a rank in. I do have a rank in theology, and I also have. You three have ranks. to have this ritual. You have to be able to importune Kami in order to help somebody importune Kami. Ah, uh, okay. Where? Okay. This requires um, specific training. Okay. Um yeah, I will I will try. To speak with the water kami if I can. I'll try to importune them. Okay. I pick up one of the uh, seashells off the off of the uh the shore. And offer it up to the water kami. That sounds like a good idea. That'll help. So I speak with the water coming. I hold up the. This the isn't. Shell. This is not an invocation, though. This is a ritual. It's a ritual. Okay. Yes. Communion. Oh yeah, that's right. Communion is a ritual. 
Okay. All right. Yeah, commune with spirits. Yeah. So it's uh, going to be TN1 theology, but this is going to be TN2 because of the imbalance in the area. Okay. All right. So just roll. Correct. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Make sure that's in a water approach. Water. There's two successes. Yep, and you can keep three dice. Three dice. I'll take the two successes and an opportunity. Okay, you'll take a point of strife. Okay. Uh, uh, do you know what you're going to do with your opportunity? I was looking, and I only have an uh, up uh, for invocations, not... Um, well, don't worry about it, then. I'll... Uh, I'll add the uh, opportunity to it. Did you watch my opportunity video? I, I want all of <laughs> yes, your, my players to watch my opportunity video so you know yes. that we can we was, can do these opportunities quickly. I was quickly. debating, and I also have the page up, but it was for invocations. I wasn't uh, sure if I was going to be doing the ritual or the an uh, invocation of sorts. So I'm having, you know, PDFs. They're only like <laughs> one page. I can't seem to tab it. So, um, so, you want some spiritual knowledge. You're going to learn one fact that the spirits know about the area. Yes. That's the main thing you want. Correct. Um, and indeed, uh, these kami definitely know of the boat that you are looking for. In fact, there is a mist, like a, a, a small cloud that appears on the ocean. Mm -hmm. that takes the form of the boat that you've seen before. Oh, okay. It is the exact boat, boat from the harbor. of this Mehosukai that you saw in the lagoon at Slow Tide Harbor. And it is Ominous. moving It is moving to the south. Okay. They moved south, apparently. As suspected. It is worrisome. They beat us to this village. Yeah, suggest they're they at quite a quick speed. Um, Indeed. There is... Uh, with the opportunity, mm -hmm. you get the feeling that the water kami are urging you to hurry. Oh. That there is some sense of urgency to this. The kami want me to... to move it. <laughs> of course, these are the water kami, and they love to move. <laughs> I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. You like to move so it. We came here over land, right? Yeah, more than likely. Now they didn't. They didn't disembark when I was speaking with the Kami when I was seeing this vision. Did they disembark, or did they literally just kept heading south? What do you mean? When I was asking the the, the water Kami. You and asked. You, you said I was seeing a vision of the boat. Yes. Okay. So they just hopped on, hopped off, uh, hopped off, hopped on. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Was the kami uh, no, said they... that there was the exact boat that you know of, and it went uh -huh. south. Okay. All right. So apparently it was a hit and run situation. But they knew who they were attacking. So, does that mean that they were close by then? I think it suggests something far more insidious. But it sounds to me like we should make our way south quickly. You said yes. your your cousin was in uh, Clearwater Village. Clearwater Village. Is there any way that we can um, charter a boat to go south? It would be much faster for us to do that rather than travel over land. If they indeed are on a ship, we may be leagues behind at this point. I'm not sure. Uh, there's doesn't seem most of our boats here are for fishing. Uh, we don't have uh, many trader boats coming in. At least not not today. That you could uh, possibly you charter go. any sort of uh, uh, any sort of passage on yet. Well then, Daiduji-san. Farther south. Farther south in Sunrise Village, 
Um, that is a, another fishing community, but it is, it's larger. Um, and the mantis do trade there. I see. Well, I wonder if we get to see our old pal. If we must, if we must leave, make, make haste and leave quickly. It is important that you maintain a wary eye, Daruji-san, so as you, not to fall prey to any of these would-be assailants again. I worry that they may, they or some offshoot of them may still be interested in using you for whatever their nefarious deeds were. He nods. I will remain vigilant. I trust you will. Right. Well... I wish you the best of luck, Dedoji-san. And uh, we'll, when we arrive at the next city, I will send word to try to uh, seek after your status. May the fortunes wa watch over you and your family. Oh, he, uh, also, you might also get a boat at the, uh, pa the Crane Palaces, but they can be pricey there. Understood. Or we be broke. <laughs> Thank you for your time and your information, Tetuji san. It has been great, vastly helpful. All right. Um, where are y'all headed next? Are y'all going back to talk to the fishermen, or are you just gonna uh, uh, start start on the road south? Um, I kind of want to just start moving south, but I guess this is a party discussion at this point. I'm ready to move south if the commie's telling me that this is this is in, needed in haste. I will listen to the commie. I do think I'm... it's best if the commie are insistent on our speed that we get mm -hmm. going as soon as possible. Okay. Given water, commie have a tendency to be love moving, so. Kakita Shizui will uh, wish you luck and the kami speed on your journey and uh, she said she will make sure that she takes care uh, you need not worry about a Tomo Hiroshige that she will take care of that thank you Shusui-san I hear her things to himself I shudder to, to think of how she will take care of him <laughs> Okay, um, off you guys go to the south. Um, we're going to time skip a little here. You're right. going to make it to the esteemed palaces of the crane. But yes, the chartering boats there is very expensive. And most of the crane here, like the castle is pretty much off limits to outside samurai unless you have explicit permission to be there. <laughs> Um, there is no sign of this Mehosukai here. Perhaps this town is too big and too well guarded. Okay, or I, I, su I suggest we go to the Mantis Lands anyway. We we had a uh, uh, we had a invitation of sorts, at least there. And besides, Crane aren't really known for having the fastest of ships. <laughs> Mantis, on the other hand. <laughs> so you head south for a while and uh, we'll go back to the map here we're on the map we're on the map and you go south to about here I assume here at the mouth of this village uh, uh, river there's another village uh, called Sunrise Village it is another remote crane fishing community and there you start asking around for passage on a boat Indeed. and you find a mantis samurai who is definitely uh, amiable to give you passage um, he's like of, of course I'll help Elmeral magistrates well we are certainly in need of fast ship I'm hopeful that you might be able to facilitate our travels to Clearwater Village. 
Um, this samurai's name is... I'll say his name is Mako. Mako? Yes. Like the shark? <laughs> no, like the, uh, the transport vehicle in, in Mass Effect. <laughs> like the shark. Can I ask, uh, what kind of business you're on? Uh, we are on investigation. It is official business of the Emerald Magistrates. Oh, of course. Well, um, let, let me, can I, can I tell you something that might, I mean, there's some weird things that happened to late to me. Of course. Yes. I would love to hear them. So, well, you see my grandmother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow became my grandfather, and things got a little weird. So a few days ago, I was walking down the beach, and I saw this woman talking to a ghost. Hmm. Could you, uh... Elaborate? What did she look like? Um... She wore. Well, let, let me find her picture again. <laughs> she describes the Kitsu blood speaker, the Kitsu Mehosu, Mahosukai. That's who he describes. Ah. Uh. It is definitely the woman you're looking for. What the kind look of this guy? He said. Kind of washes over my face. He says, "You know, I reported it. I reported it to the magistrates, but they didn't take it seriously." Ah. Oh. Mm. But you want to know something? The next day, uh, there was the they found a body of a Yasuki there, a, a Yasuki merchant. Uh oh. What was this Yasuki's name? Do you know? I don't know. You'll have to talk to the magistrate. Yes, I think we should. Yeah. It's quite worrisome. Um, Mako, do me a favor and, uh, if you would provide us passage on your vessel, it would do us great honor and be of great assistance for us in our investigation. We need to speak with the magistrate, but we will likely need to leave this city quite quickly. Very well. Um, I can give you passage on the boat for all of you for, uh, Koku apiece. Very well. Mm-hmm. I, I, I... Let me check my money. <laughs> I say, I, uh, oh, Celie, I don't have that much cash. I <laughs> well, seriously yeah, have we it haven't already. exactly been earning money. Yeah. Which is why I'm Half. going to... One Koku, you, you say? A Koku each. I'm broke. <laughs> yeah, I have one Boo and 12 Zenny. I think I remember, like, I still have at least one Koku for myself that I didn't spend. Do you... There we go. Do we want to haggle? Is that what you were about to ask? Yeah, do you want to... to... This guy seems... Okay. This guy uh, seems like he's very invested in what happened to him a while back. This whole ghost woman talking and a, and a murder. He seems pretty invested in that. Hmm. Mm -hmm. um, I, I would be willing not necessarily to haggle with him, but to uh, explain the importance of our investigation and how this ties to our investigation and assure him that so, as official... So say, role play that. Okay. So, um, Mako-san, this individual that you described... She, the description you provided matches the exact suspect that we are looking for, and she is making haste quickly towards what we believe to be Clearwater Village. She is looking for Yasuki, and the fact that she has assaulted one here in this village suggests that she is continuing on her mission. If, if I might be so bold, your 
assistance in this investigation, uh, facilitating our travel to this village, would be seen as a great honor and respect toward the Emerald Magistrates and could gain you some amount of... Uh, I'm not... I, I, I have to I have to level with you, um, uh, Magistrate Sama. I am not going to Clearwater Village. I can take you as far south as Wall Above Ocean Village. But this is important. And I want to make sure you guys get there. I'll tell you what. You don't have to pay me. I'll get you there for free. From there, you can... Uh, you can cut across... Uh, you can cut across land to Clearwater Village. It shouldn't be any problem from, from Wall Above Ocean Village. Okay. That sounds like a grand deal, and I'm willing to accept your your kind offer. I will ensure that the liberal magistrates know that that uh, are they they're not Yoritomo, right? They're just singular named whatever they're, they're just like. singular named, exactly. So I will let them know that a Mantis clan samurai named Mako was honorable enough to help us in this investigation. That's very kind. I'm I'm glad to help and to bring honor to the Mantis clan. As an Akoma, it is my job to read the histories, and I will be sure to in include your name in those histories. I'll get your vessel ready, and uh, you talk to the Magistrate about what happened. Arigato. Okay, uh, you go talk to the Magistrate, who is... Yeah, uh, let's book it. <laughs> <laughs> it's Diadoji Kaya. Kaya. And uh, she says, uh, welcome, Emerald Magistrates, uh, Togashi-san, Hida-san, to Sunrise Village. We're a very quiet village here. Not a lot happens, but um, are you here on business? We are here indeed on investigation, official business of the Emerald Magistrates. And we have been informed that there has been an odd occurrence in this village very recently. Uh, which, what do you speak of? We spoke with a uh, sailor by the name of Mako. Are you familiar with him? Oh, yes. He was very drunk. He came in here talking about a woman uh, uh, speaking to a ghost. We did check uh, out the area and there did seem to be a murder. We checked out Mako to make sure that he wasn't the cause of it. And uh, it... Let's just say he was in no position to kill another man at the time. That is because I'm, I'm not here to speak on the credibility of Mako as a witness. I'm here to say that what he saw is substantially uh, um, his well, description it's, it's of what he saw fits to our, our investigation. Fits our description of the suspect of our investigation. This individual is very dangerous and um, a fugitive of the law and seems to have continued her assault on members of the Yasuki family. I see. Um, I'm here to ask you who the Yasuki who was murdered was. Um, he was a merchant that frequented this town uh, quite a bit, though he's not wealthy. Uh, his name was... Um, Yusuke Arata. Does he have any relationships south um, of this village or he's a Yusuke, within Clearwater of course Village? He, he's a Yusuke. Of course he has lots of people that he knows south of this village. It's where Crablands are. Uh, perhaps a more helpful question would be, do you happen to know where his hometown is? Um, yes. Uh, he resides in Friendly Traveler Village, or at least that's where his family is. Hmm. Friendly Travelers. But he has a, a extensive family. Indeed. Yes. Well, I mean, he has, uh, he always talks about, uh, his, his brother that lives in, 
Mm, Clearwater Village, I think. Mm-hmm. A brother in Clearwater. <sighs> it seems it is as we feared. Indeed. Yeah, I, I would just like to ask, uh, um, the nature of the death of the merchant, um, were there any markings on them? Or was it by a sword? Or was it... You know, I'm not... This is... I'm not very well trained in knowing the difference between a sword cut or a knife cut or that sort of thing. Um, You can talk to the Bukar... What are they called again? Bukarumen? Uh, I think so. They're 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 the uh, the the Heinen, right? The uh, yeah. They're the they're the the lowest class of of peasants, and they're the ones who usually handle dead bodies and and uh, anatomy and that kind of thing. The gotcha. uh, Budarkumen, that's what they're called. The Budarkumen, the non-people. Did you witness the body? Are we told? told uh, Hyman, uh, Hyman are the uh, these are just peasants. Heenan are mm-hmm. what you were talking about, but they're also called yeah, that's, that's Budakumen. Okay. And uh, uh, I'm sorry. What did you? What was your question? Um, my question was: Did you witness the actual body? Yes, or? I did see the body. Um, okay. The the did it look more pale than normal. Uh, well, it was, I I would assume so, uh, they were cut across the neck. Okay. Thank you. Wherever this, um... But I I couldn't say whether it was a knife or a samurai sword or some sort of gaijin weapon. I would know. Daidoji-san. Regardless of what occurred in the city, I have two pieces of advice that I hope that you take into consideration in the future. Um, When somebody makes a claim and is that uh, driven to seek uh, more information about that claim, perhaps it is indeed uh, among your responsibilities to investigate it. Because two, the individual who committed this crime is likely a Mehosukai, and the site at which this this crime was committed should likely be purified by whatever uh, spiritual um, uh, adjuncts reside in the city. I will make sure that this area is well purified, Lion San. Um, I would like to ask how long you are staying in this village. Not long at all. Good. I, I'm. I'm sorry that you can't experience more of it, but I hope you have a nice, safe travel. Um, I have other matters to deal with, to attend to. Uh, I hope you would forgive that. Uh, but um, I hope you have safe travels. And she will get up, and well, she will bow, get up, and leave. And the Yoriki will be sitting there like. <laughs> Ooh. That, that, okay. Man, she seemed a little steamed. Yeah, I chastised her. Yeah. She should probably be steamed. By the way, uh, Trevor Olsen says uh, a Kitsume Hosukai, Mahosukai, is a rather unsettling enemy. Exactly he's, my point. <laughs> he's never really thought about that much. You get it. <laughs> Never really <laughs> thought much about uh, uh, Kitsu powers and That's how the they beat. mesh with uh... all the sweat. All the sweat. <laughs> <laughs> That's why my character is very disturbed by this whole thing. And then there's me. I'm like, I don't know any of these last, na- well, family names and what they do. <laughs> Same here <laughs> for my character. I figured. Anyways. I don't know if my character would know about that. You probably actually... No, I mean, like, out of character. I have no clue. 
you as a phoenix would probably know who what the kitsu are and their significance as a as a spell user or like a, a, a shugenja okay they're, they're very different from the majority of other spell or shugenja in the empire hmm Okay. And they're very, they're almost rare in a sense. There's not a lot. The, the Kitsu aren't a huge family. You know what I mean? Hmm. Yeah. They're, they're a small family of the lion, obscure, and they do a lot of strange magic that doesn't conform to what most other Shigenja do. They don't deal with kami or like simple like spells. They deal with something completely different. Hmm. Okay. So um, you guys get back to Mako's ship. He's got it all prepared, ready to go. And you make your way south. Well, too bad we lost her so quickly. Would have been nice to ask um, how much blood there was where the guy was found. Y'all go south to Wall Above Ocean Village. You know, whether it got left behind or taken... Judging by the description of the cut, it being from the neck, it'll probably be a lot. And it should be. And if you don't be. see it around, then <laughs> most likely it's been taken, especially from a Maho user. Whatever the, the case, I hope she took my advice and purifies that land where the horror took place. And during the time you are seafaring, earn one point if you have zero rank in seafaring. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say earn one rank of Shuttle Instinct. <laughs> Damn it. I didn't purify Shuttle. all of you. No. <laughs> Damn it, Mako. <laughs> all right, so we're, we're in... Uh, we're on a boat. All over yep. ocean. You get, you get off of the boat at Wall Above Wall ocean, ocean Village. And uh, there's a magistrate waiting for you on the dock. Ooh. Huh. So we're here. Yes. Oh boy. I I will bow deeply to the the magistrate. Is this another crane? Yes, this is Doji Junji. Doji. I am Doji Junji. Welcome to Wall Above Ocean Village. I've been expecting you. Indeed. We hear you're investigating Meho Sukai. You should come with me. Maho Sukai. Maho, not me. Maho. <laughs> you and Mayo. Derek, you're Mayo always seeing me. Mayo Sukai. The Mayo, the Mayo <laughs> Clinic <laughs> Sukai. <laughs> so how would you like that mayonnaise on your sandwich? Did, did you say sand, sandwich? Like a, as a pun? Sandwich. Like a witch? Like a normal witch, but with sand? <laughs> I think I've I actually have to warn you, the well, it's the, the, the brood witch. Following the magistrate. <laughs> so, <laughs> you get to the magistrate's office. He says, first off, I have some letters. Right? Okay. Uh, he gives um, letters to... Uh, oh, are these like responses to the ones we said. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Surpri uh, surprising that they were able to track us. Um, Not really. So, hmm. Kage gets a letter. And Inoue gets a letter. Of course. And, um... Uh, Tatsuo gets a letter. From you who? three get letters. Was it from my sensei or the champion that I also sent a letter to? Saying this hello? is from your champion. You get a letter from the, uh, uh, from Togashi Yokuni, the Dragon Clan champion. <laughs> oh. It's written in the blood of a dead god. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Maho <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> well, no, they they use a they use Togashi's blood as no, as, I understand. Yeah, yeah. Just like tattoo the magic. tattoos. <laughs> it just it's beautiful multicolored ink. <laughs> it's oh, the okay. blood of dead gods. <laughs> So, uh, I'll start with, uh, Shiba and Noe. Shiba and Noe. Um, your elemental master, the elemental master of fire, uh, mm -hmm. no, uh, uh, acknowledges that you are tracking a Mahosukai that is interested in the Haruma. Okay. If this Mahosukai has any lost lore, anything it knows about the Haruma, or anything about uh, Daylight Castle, any lore about Daylight Castle, to preserve it at all costs. The Master of Fire is uh, is really concerned about that kind of information. Okay. And if there's any knowledge to be gathered or gained, that is your duty to preserve it. Absolutely. Um, Kage. You get a, a letter saying that you need to speak when you get to Clearwater Village that you need to speak with in a coma there. Um, you need to speak with a Coda Tori. Ikoma Tori? Ikoma Tori in Clearwater Village. It is of paramount importance that you speak with this person. They also say no longer to use... Uh, the name Kitsu in any of the correspondence when talking about a Mahosukai. Okay. That any correspondence should not have anything to do with the lion. These types of things should be spoken of in private. And if anyone intercepts any type of this correspondence, uh, it could be bad. It doesn't explicitly say this in the letter. It uses more of an, a, a code to tell you this. Okay. Keep it hush hush. Yes. Um, and Togashi Tatsuo. Yokune uh, says that uh, while you are in the Shadowlands and while you are at Daylight Castle, please. Restore and cleanse any shrines or artifacts you come across. But of course. You, um, you're going to Clearwater Village. Matt? Well, I mean... I, I'm writing down everything. Oh, okay, okay. He says, while you are in the Shadowlands, purify any uh, uh, shrines and any artifacts, uh, spiritual artifacts you find. Okay, and how do I, uh, how do I go about doing that? He probably just already knows that we're going to end up going up. there. Um... You sh a ritual of cleansing. Ah, do I have that in my character sheet? If you don't, you need to learn that. Uh, I don't know if that's on my uh, school. I can help you if you want. Well, it doesn't I matter. It just won't. It won't go towards your school like technique. It'll oh, just oh, yeah, throws sure. that. You can still learn it. Well, I mean, I got three experience points that I could spend for it if it's a technique. So it is, it is a technique. It is a technique. It is a ritual. Our technique. All it's right. Cleansing right, right? Isn't that what you're talking about? Cleansing right? Yeah. Rank is cleansing it? right. Huh? It is rank one. Oh, yeah. Okay. Cleansing right, rank one. And of course, it it will count toward um, 
actually fire being in rank. Right. I believe it's a ritual, right? It yes. Ritual. Yeah. TN3 oh, I mean, theology. I will now. In void. Well, now oh, you yeah. Know. At least, at least I got three in void. But it would be nice if I was skilled in theology, a little more skilled in theology. Well, now you know what you got to spend some XP's on. Yep. Get good at it. Yeah. Get good. With an I and a U. Get good. <laughs> Get good. Yeah. Get good. All right. I'll go ahead and. Oh do that right about now. Don't you find anything odd about this letter? <laughs> Somewhat, yeah. Would you I like to talk don't... about it? Alright, so... Why was I given the order to do so? It to doesn't say. purify things? I no, mean, it, it makes sense. Purify artifacts? Yeah. Restore and, shrines. Um, you are given an order to to purify shrines and artifacts you find in the Shadowlands and inside Daylight Castle. Why am I expected to go into the Shadowlands at this point? That's the question, isn't it? <laughs> My guess uh, is that he already like knows your, your that clan we're champion going there. has some kind of crazy insight that you don't even realize. Here's yet. The, here's the thing. Here's the thing. The letter doesn't order you into the Shadowlands. It doesn't. It just says while you're there. <laughs> He's expecting oh, that is... you to be there. Yeah, that is some heavy implication. Somebody's got some <laughs> future <yourself>. sight. <laughs> yeah, it's the, it's almost like the clan of foresight is actually using foresight to tell you what's going to happen <laughs> in your very near future. It's almost like your guy is, uh, I don't know, has the wisdom of the kami. <laughs> <laughs> some, some particular kami who wore green and yellow oh yeah Tagashi it's like he has the wisdom of Tagashi <laughs> <laughs> something like uh, Tagashi insight there you go so it's, it's Tagashi. plants <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start informing uh, it's Inoue, Rizomi, and Kage about uh, about this uh, letter. Wait, you're gonna tell us about the letter that your champion sent you? Well, it's not, uh, it's not, not like it's I, not exactly I, I can really, I mean, like it, he didn't say use discretion, so it's nope. just kind of like. I, um, I, would I probably responds like, I can help you uh, understand the ritual that I did upon you. So you can do it to whatever you need. Daylight Castle is has not been inhabited by the Haruma in generations. Why would we be going to did did he did you tell him we were going to Clearwater Village? <laughs> not at all. I just pretty much like I just pretty much sent him a letter updating him on what we did to, um, at. Sorry, I'm trying to remember the name of the Broken Rock. Slow Tide right? Harbor. Slow Tide Harbor. Like, uh, yeah. I just updated him on what we did at Slow Tide Harbor, and you know, just and I got this in response. Slightly baffles me, but I felt it would be prudent to inform you just in case we somehow wind up over at that location. I will not doubt Lord Tagashi or like you know my champion's insight. Well, given the fact that we were very fortunate to understand your foresight and it, it, it did well for us, I would say to trust the um, uh, the champion's um, advice. Hence why I offered to help you better understand how to purify things. All right, I'm willing to learn it. So, um... Trevor Olson, Trevor Olson says the letter should be postmarked about a month ago. <laughs> the magistrate. How fast did they run across the land? Tagashi's Tagashi's letter was postmarked like before you before even he sent him the letter. Before you sent, sent it, yeah. The right message. <laughs> The doji magistrate. The doji magistrate returns and says, "There's someone I'd like you to meet." 
and he will take you all back to the holding cells, and there is a man in one of the cells. He says, this is one thumb. One thumb? This is one thumb. A uh, couple of the, of the hymen, they came to me and said that this man was doing some blasphemous rituals, some terrible things. And you know how hymen are. Like, when they got a petty little squabble, they like to cast uh, uh, lies at each other. But uh, we looked into it, and this one seems to check out. What's he been up to? Well, one thumb. Why don't you tell him what was going on? And, is is uh, it like literally one thumb? Like, does he have only one thumb on one hand? Yeah, yeah he has a th one thing. thumb on one mm -hmm. hand and the other one he doesn't have a thumb on. Okay, I was like, that doesn't sound like a Rokugani name, so this has to be some kind of weird <laughs> nickname. He's actually called one thumb, okay. Grasps. So he says, um, there was a really powerful woman here known as Spirit Caller. She came out of nowhere and left without a trace. She could summon the spirits of the dead and question them. I was scared out of my mind. I figured I would have to do what she said. She did also pay. Uh, she used threats of evil uh, magic. Oh wait, no, no, no. He didn't. They didn't. He, she didn't. He. She didn't pay her. He. Uh, she used threats of evil magic. That she knew, and uh, I was forced to help her. She wanted to kidnap the son of a young Haruma samurai. Stationed in town as the the crab liaison to the crane. She took the child. She took him. And now she's gone forever. I look to the magistrate and go, do you know of this liaison? Yeah. Is he indeed gone? The liaison's still here. His son is gone. The son is gone. And this, this one helped her to do this. This man is being scheduled to be executed tomorrow. But I wanted you to know about it. I appreciate your foresight and your willingness to share this information with the Emerald Magistrates. I look over to the, the man in the cell and I go, I pity you, One Thumb. We all have a say in our destiny, and your destiny has been set in stone now. It was either be damned by that witch or be executed by the magistrate. Which would you choose? I am righteous and I would choose death at whatever hand in order to stop such a witch. <laughs> Perhaps this is what separates witches a and a that samurai. can steal your soul, that can take the spirit from your body. No, it's Maido for me. I will not be captured in eternity as the servant to Spirit Collar. I'd rather my spirit return to the wheel. Your fear is on display. I do understand why you made the choice you did. But it's not the same one as I would make. I would think a, a crab would be more practical. I will be dead tomorrow. You can, uh, you're, it, so you need not worry about my fate. Can we speak to this Haruma? He's in mourning right now. 
understandable. After what his family has been through, I can only imagine. Well, this woman we, is, is no longer in this town. Um, I am sure that we know where she is headed. However, we have little time to waste in trying to cut her off before she makes landfall where her where we assume her destination lies. We hear you're going to Clearwater Village. Uh, we want this person brought to justice as quickly, swiftly as possible. So we have prepared a boat for you specifically to go to Clearwater Village. You do us great honor, do Doji-san. That is most considerate. I have my duties here, but I'm glad somebody is tracking this person down. If you can find the sun, we would be overjoyed, but this is a, Meho a Mahosukai we're dealing with. If you could give us a description of the sun, as well as a name that we might be able to call him by. Um, sure. He'll give you a young boy's name. Uh, or a description of a young boy. And let's let's get a random name here. Well, I don't like any of these names. <laughs> <laughs> so is there any place uh, that the Mahosu guy uh, went? Maybe I could perform a cleansing rite in the area we'll, where... We'll call him Karu. Problem, so could, huh? We'll call him Karu. Ah. His name is Karu. And he's just a young, uh, a young boy. He's not even a man. Hmm. He says, uh, we have, um, we have Asahina here that are doing the cleansing ritual, that have performed okay. cleansing rituals. Okay. What, can you repeat the guy's, the, or can you spell the guy's name for me? Haru, H-A-R-U. Haru, okay. You can rest here for the night. I know you've been traveling long, um, but the boat is ready whenever you are. Thank you. We what have rooms prepared for you at the inn, free of charge. All right. I look at the group. Do we wish to stay oh. the night? By the way, respite? each of you with your letter also have a stipend of, of uh, let me see here. Uh, Togashi Tatsuo, you get two koku. Mm. Shiba Inoue, you get four koku. And Akomakage, you get four koku. With your letters. And the, the crab are all too busy doing other things to bother with me. <laughs> Uh, well, we're about to show up in a crab village, so I'm I'm fe feeling pretty confident that you're going to be a uh, center stage there. Okay, because Clearwater Village is a crab village, right? It is a clear. A it's town? very crab. <laughs> very crab. It, it's so crabby. <laughs> Much crab. It's so crabby crab that people. all they oh, eat crab. there is crab. I, I feel like me and the Hina are going to really enjoy our time in Crablands, and I feel like the Shiba and the Jagash are going to be like, what kind of hell is this? <laughs> I'd be fine with it. Because remember, I'm I'm good with new things. Hey, I have it's an your... ability that's only good for fighting really big stuff. I might actually get to use that. I have a feeling the heat is going to have a lot of fun coming up soon. <laughs> so, uh, you guys can stay in this village later if you like, or you can leave immediately. Do they yeah, all I'm just going to put that up to the group. Do y'all want to stay here for the night and find our last, probably the last of our respite before we head off to Clearwater? Or do you want to be tireless and burn the, the, the candle at both ends? Mm. I think we, kind of we should get some good sleep before we head yeah. out again. Mm -hmm. uh, would, is there a library here so I can look up more information on the Daylight Castle? I'm sure there is. Um, yeah. Definitely. There's a library I, here you can check out. I can check show out. you exactly where we can find that because I innately know says, that where to find information <laughs> on these things. He says that he doesn't have a lot of information on that kind of thing. You could probably find more in Clearwater Village. That's a crab town. They would know a lot more about that. 
I want to take in all information. Once once my my teacher tells me to do something, I'll do it like to the end <laughs> yeah. degree. So I, I have I have uh, Fukura Kujin's blessing, which lets me automatically know where the nearest uh, source of information to undertake research on any given subject, and I can complete research in half the time it would take. So if you want some help, I am totally down to help you do the research on this. So in this. Love in this Crane Village library, in the Crane Village records, there is a story about it. Um, it's not very well detailed. It's a side note to explain the heroics of another crane rather than a crab. Anything that does has to do with the crab. But it talks about um, the heroic efforts of the Diadoji at Battle of Cresting Wave. Ooh. I laugh because it like the crane story of this is probably written one way that's like really embellishing the crane's exploits, and then in some librarian crab territory, there's something that's like, oh, this goddamn coma showed up and was just all whiny and bitchy <laughs> about how we didn't have the finest skis and the softest beds, the little wuss, because a uh, crab have a whole like language under themselves and they use this code word for all the crane that come to the the wall thinking that they're going to gain glory by showing that they can stand with the crab <laughs> they call them they so, call them ponies because uh, they're so soft and, and inexperienced okay it's hilarious so there is <laughs> i love the crab the crab are great <laughs> during the battle of cresting wave the uh, a creature known as the maw and his armies of of demons were held off for two months by a Shugenja named uh, Kuni Osaku. Yeah. And the crane diligently defended Osaku for those two months, these Diadoji warriors, while the crab we're all busy constructing a fortification that is now known as the Carpenter's Wall. The Carpenter's Wall would not exist if the Diadoji hadn't defended this Shugenja. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just enjoying Tarek's uh, reaction to it. Trevor Olson says, yeah, the crane would definitely do that. <laughs> exactly. It's, it's per that's why I'm laughing, because it's like perfect. That's like exactly what the crane would say and how they would ha try to handle it and explain it. It's not I like the crab were fighting a like whole such... war against the Shadowlands while building the best and largest and most fortified position the world has ever seen. Yeah, no, no, no. It was all about the Daidoji. They were they were the saviors of the day. They, they saved it. with the Shugenja holding off so i'm just kind of like wow i didn't know this yeah yeah as we read that if we're in private my character the coma will literally ball laughing just like cr crying and how hard he laughs about what he's reading so i'm just like his story and this is this is absurd this invocation that this uh kuni cast was a ritual that lasted for two months and cr and basically created a a immense flood water that kept the entire Shadowland army at bay. And at the end of the ritual, at the end of two months, of course the Shugenja overtaxed died. Of course. Uh, the Kuni. I actually was inspired cool. by the, the fact that uh, he uh, gave his life for the Kami, in a sense. So for me, I was just like, it gets me right here. I feel you, brother. <laughs> right in the fuels button. What What's Let's interesting is the me. logistics of doing a ritual for two months with the needs of eating, sleeping, and pooping. <laughs> but uh, that's what the story says. It's very <laughs> mythological. It's... It is, and I found it fascinating. Wow, I'm like trying to shush <laughs> Kage because it's the, like... The difference between the, the crane and the crab story is that the crab story, it was six months worth of time. <laughs> <laughs> he did it for six months and he didn't sleep or poop or go to eat, nothing. 
nobody's got the That's real like story where it was like he just had to do it one time and it lasted for two months without was, an e even say, the thinking real about it. Like <laughs> some Cooney took credit for a giant storm that rolled in and <laughs> like flooded the entire. <laughs> Like, oh, yeah, oh, I did that. So is there anything else y'all are wanting to do at Wall Above Ocean Village? Mm. Uh, I'm thinking no. about equipment, but it won't be for me because, you know, I use... Uh, <laughs> oh, right. Keto. Well, if you want to go shopping, <laughs> we'll take a small break. You can look up the things that you want, and when we come back... We'll take care of those things, okay? It's a we're okay. doing our I, two hour break. I keep on saying I need a bow. <laughs> you need a bow she needs a bow. <laughs> oh, she yeah. needs a bow. I don't have enough right. weapons. <laughs> so um we're gonna take a break and after the break we'll uh we'll come back. So uh fifteen minutes at the most. We'll we'll see you back here. Hey guys, welcome back after the break. I, I don't know how long that break was, but um, <laughs> we're back now. I think it was like 10 minutes. I, I don't know. Um, did everybody get what they wanted? Um, do y'all know what you wanted to get and did y'all get it? Yes, I went shopping and I have purchased myself a, uh, a common bow and quiver of arrows. Oh, that's good. I bought myself a uh, a eye patch, which was very inexpensive, which is good. Mm, yes. Well, as far as I can tell, I don't really need anything because I need to keep myself at least exposed enough uh, to where um, I uh, like uh, to let my tattoos glow and be seen. That's right. You're mm -hmm. naked now. Well, <laughs> everybody. I'll just get a blanket for sleeping. Everybody uh, has moved from the boat from wall above the wall above ocean, the ocean village, village all the way down to Clearwater Village right down here. It is a long travel, but you finally made it. Oh, see, we all probably should have bought something that had bludgeoning damage for what we're about to go up against, but... <laughs> I don't know much about this kind of stuff. Oh, I don't need so. anything else with bludgeoning damage. I'm all oh, good. Yeah. You're, you're probably fine. <laughs> <laughs> I am the bludgeoning damage. Good point. <laughs> I should have probably bought something with bludgeoning damage, but the Ecoma probably doesn't know much about that kind of economy. So, um, where are you headed to? Clearwater Village. You're here. Let's, uh... I guess maybe the Magistrate first? Uh, okay, that we sounds... We should see if anything has happened. That sounds like a good idea. Okay. You go to see the Magistrate. It is, uh... Mm. Hirasuna is the magistrate of this village and she welcomes you to Clearwater Village welcome magistrate Samas uh, and welcome back cousin it's good to be back uh, uh, I heard of your uh, your triumph at the Topaz Championship Ah, yes. Runner-up is, uh, pretty good. <laughs> it is. It's... Look, I wasn't even uh, invited to the Topaz Champion when I had my Gimpuku. So I am very happy that we had a crab play so well in a tournament of Iejitsu. <laughs> She's quite gifted. Well, um, enough pleasantries. Uh, what brings you to our humble village? Well, an investigation. Um, we are actually on the trail of a, a Mahosukai. Uh, well, 
that is quite important. I can assure you that uh, if there was a Mahosukai in this town for any l long period of time, uh, we would have detected it. We have a very good Kuni witch hunter on staff. Oh, I do believe that. Uh, but it doesn't seem that she is taking her time anywhere she goes. She just pops in, kills somebody, and leaves. Have you that... had any mysterious deaths recently in the city? No. Nobody has died recently. I am glad to hear that. That is, in a sense, heartwarming. Um, there is a, a, a woman that we seek. Uh, we were informed that she may reside here. A Yasuki by the name... Um, give me one second. I have it right here. Uh, KG. Yes. I do know a, uh, a Yusuke KG. Um, he has a shop down by oh, the... He, I thought it down was by a the daughter. Way. Nah. It, was, it wasn't a daughter? No. I wrote that down wrong then. I'm sorry. Um... Yes, I do know a Yusuke KG. Um, he came in here uh, two days ago saying that uh, someone had robbed him. Of an heirloom? Mm. Uh, yes, yeah, some ancient maps. Maps, you say? Is, is he still within the city? Yes. He has a shop down by the wharf. By the wharf. Arigato. Um... I, 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 I feel terrible for having to cut our conversation short, but I feel I must investigate further with this Yasuki. Of course, uh, of course. Please pardon my, my abrupt departure. Well, if she stole the maps without even making her presence known, perhaps she is not after his blood. Well, she's collected so much already, I, so... I, I kind of just take off toward the wharf. As you I leave the magistrate's off. office, there is a mountain of a man outside uh, <laughs> sc <laughs> scanning the crowds. Uh, Hida Nozomi, oh. you definitely recognize this man as your father. I was worried that I was uh, going to run into a dude who's like... Smash. Father? <laughs> Do you have a name for your father? Have you named him? <laughs> I haven't named him. I haven't named any family members. You have not. Would you like some... Would you like me to name him? Sure, you name him. I mean, we normally don't get to pick our parents' names. How about naming him... Um, uh, Zayasu? Sure. Z-A-Y-A-S-U. That's your dad's name. Hida Zayasu. My daddy. Your daddy. He says, Hello, little wolf. I'm glad <laughs> to see you back home. It has been too long. You went you went to Suma and you never came back. Oh, yes. I'm sorry, father. Look, uh, things you are came a, up. You are a woman now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, do you have some time for your old man? Can can you three take care of this? I'm sure you don't need me with you. I'll just of course, of course, spend a little son. time no. with my father. Just keep, keep hurrying down the road. I bow and follow right after. Come. All right, and I'll bow, uh, bow and uh, continue the investigation too. Your friends seem nice. It was nice meeting you. I am Hiro Yasu <laughs> Yasuba. <laughs> Zayasu. Oh, Zayasu. That's what it is. I'm Hida Zayasu. He doesn't know his own name. Good day, Hida Sama. <laughs> Come, let us go get some soba. There's the, the man down there has some really nice wheat noodles. Mmm, that sounds delicious. 
So you go and you get some soba with your dad. Yeah, it's like the broadest noodles with the heaviest broth. It's so salty. <laughs> <laughs> salty like the ocean. <laughs> Freaking tasty, though. Yeah, it's delicious. Mm. He says, uh, I heard you were coming back. There was word that you were coming to Clearwater Village. Apparently, there's uh, some rumor out there about a uh, uh, Maho Sukai, and the word is traveling quite fast about it. Mm. And that your name is connected to it. Unfortunately, it's true. Um, we were sent to find a man, and it, it turned out that he had been kidnapped by a slaver who was involved with some Maho Sukai. Um... We managed to kill one of them, but this this woman we we're after was too far away for us to catch up to. Mm. Um, if it uh, looks like she's made it here, though. You know what she's after? Hmm. No, not really. Um, though she. She tried to get blood from a guard at Broken Rock's village. Uh, I have no idea where that is. It's pretty far north in the Crane Lands. Oh, it's a crane. I, uh, I assume. But she wanted to know whether his grandmother was a Hiruma, specifically. Hmm. And then, um... A, a bit further south, in another town, she kidnapped a uh, Hiruma boy. Uh, Going after the Hiruma? Um, mm, sh and she killed a Yusuke Arata as well. I... Uh, we were concerned about this original guard's cousin who lives in town here. Uh, Yusuke Keiji. And Yusuke Keiji is, is connected to the Hiruma as well? Yes. They have the same grandmother, the Hiruma. Look, lots of crab have uh, connections to the Hiruma. <laughs> I have connections to her, the Hiruma on my side of the family, so you have connections to the Hiruma too. Yeah, uh, uh, well, um, it, What's his name? She has... Well, somebody, we assume it's her, stole some maps from Yusuke. A, uh, family heirloom. Maps? Of what? We don't know. Uh, they're off to talk to him right now. Oh, okay, okay. Well, if this person's after the Haruma, it, or people with Haruma ancestry... Uh, we had a guy, uh, Haruma Roka. He's very old. Um, like, uh, let me see here. Like, the early Empire days. I, f I forget exactly what the date was. Um, but he was at, uh, Haruma Castle when the, when the walls fell. Really? Yeah, yeah. We don't talk about him a lot because that was a lost battle. <laughs> of course. So, um... I don't think the Mehosukai would know unless she's been getting information from an outside source about who's guys her room ancestry and who doesn't. Well... For her to know who that man's grandmother was, it's strange. We don't talk much about Haruma Roka because they lost that battle. So, um, I wouldn't go around talking to that, or especially around your friends. All right. Uh, you... This is really important business. So, uh... 
I have your, uh, I, I want to give you a little bit of money so you're, you're well taken care of on your trip. Um, let me see here. I have, you know, I have three cocoa I can give you. Aw, oh, thanks a lot, Dad. Take care. Um, visit your mom at Haruma Castle if you can. Ah, <laughs> uh, I will if I have the time. Uh, so go catch up with your friends. Your old dad will be fine here. Yeah, all right. As it was he good gets, to see you. As as he's finished up his bowl of, of, of soba and gets another bowl <laughs> that's just as big and starts slurping those noodles. I'll head over to you guys. Okay, you guys go to the merchant's place. And uh, you walk up and he sells, what does he sell? He sells all sorts of spices from all around uh, Rokugan. Mm. He's got, like, big pots of it. He says, uh, Ah! Oh, traveling samurai, you look like, uh... You, you look like you, you're, you're wary travelers. How can I help you? Yasuki-san, correct? That's correct. I'm, uh... You can call me... Keiji? Yeah, Yus uh, Yusuke Keiji. You can call me Yusuke Keiji. Ha, you are the man that I seek then. I am uh, Ikoma Kage. It's a pleasure, Ikoma-san. Why do you seek me? You see, I am an Emerald Magistrate, and I have traveled quite some way to ensure what I thought would be your safety, but it seems like you have reported recently a, um, a robbery took place. That's right. That's right. I was robbed of some heirlooms, uh, some maps. Ah. You see, an individual I've been tracking from all the way um, in the north of the Empire, just around Orasanuchi, has made their way all the way down to Clearwater Village. And I believe that the suspect that I am pursuing, or that we are pursuing, um, may have been the one who stole your heirloom. Was it a woman? A woman, indeed. She came all that way to steal my maps. That's a devoted they woman. A, they must be an, <laughs> an interesting heirloom. Could you tell me more about them? And I will pull out a journal and start taking notes of these stuff. They've thoughts. been passed down from, uh, in my family for a long time. Uh, they come from the Huruma side of my family. They're maps of uh, the Huma ancestral lands. Daylight Castle. Yeah, specifically. I look over at the Dagashi with like a sidelong view. Well, I mean, you knew I where this back. was going. Mm. You were not injured or, or assaulted by this woman. She drugged me? Do you have any strange scars when you awoke? No, no, I don't. Why would why would she do that? Is she branding people or something? Worse. I, I look over at you like shut up. <laughs> we don't want to. Worse. Go to bed. Worse. <laughs> what what does she do to people? She. Oh, that's none of your concern at the moment. Um, let us. Let us. I think it is. <laughs> let us simply. I was she, drugged by this woman. What did she do to me? I, I put a fan up and touch Togashi-san's mouth and go. Let us just say that she is a very important person on the list of the Emerald Magistrates and is to be apprehended with severe uh, uh, conviction. Oh well. <laughs> with extreme prejudice. <laughs> I was gonna say prejudice, but I didn't want to make it sound all ridiculous. <laughs> so should I be worried at all about she, my health or she is she is a very dangerous individual, I will say that much. And if you if you truly feel the need to um to protect yourself I would suggest speaking to the uh, the magistrates of the city. I am informed that there is a Kuni Witch Hunter present among them who may be able to help unify your spirit. A, a witch hunter? So, we're talking... 
We're talking yes. witchcraft. In our pursuit of this woman, if it indeed is the same person that accosted you and robbed you, um, she, she has been known to have committed some acts of witchery or witchcraft. Right, so I'll, you, go see, I'll go see. I'll go see Kunisama, definitely. I have other questions for you because our investigation has brought us this far. Yeah, of course. Where, 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 where were you? Where was this uh, incident? Where did this incident occur? Oh, the sake house. The sake house. Yeah. Uh, could you tell me which which place? Uh, he says which sake house it is. Yeah, I go there all the time for drinks. Um, she was quite into me. <laughs> That's how they usually get you, isn't it? Did you get a good look at what she what she looked like and up close? Yeah, he'll give you a description of uh, Kitsu Sayori or hey. Kitsu Soroko. What, what's her name? Damn it. Also, I was going to jokingly I'm say, you know, what pretty. does she do to people? She tends to eat uh, eat everyone's food storage Kit and just leave Kitsu them to rot for the winter. Kitsu uh, Sakori. That's her name. Oh, so she cool. gave a name? Yeah, Kitsu Sakori. Gives, he gives a, a, a description of Kitsu Sakori. Does he give a name to go with it? No. He says... Um, he didn't get a name for Actually, her. yeah. He'll definitely say, oh, yeah, it was a it was a lion. It was a she said she was a lion. She said her name was Kitsu Sakori. Interesting. Well, I am not sure the validity of her identity yet. She she seems to assault individuals. Uh, she seems to have assaulted individuals all along the coastline. Um, you are lucky to have only been robbed in this case. Uh, but your inf the information you've provided us should help us to try to hunt her down. If you see anything suspicious or um, are aware of anything, any of her whereabouts from here on out, please, as quickly as possible, inform the city magistrates and let them know that they can pass that information on to Gomakage. Of course. Hey, is there anything I can I can do to help you guys? You could give me give us more information uh, in terms of um, your family lineage and possibly even information about the Daylight Castle. Um, I can, I know a lot about Daylight Castle. It is part of my, my heritage. I'd be glad to talk to you about it. Um, okay. it it's going to take a little while. Would you like to, I don't know, I can put on a cup of tea. We could we could sit back here. I'd have to close up my shop for a little bit, but that's okay. Um, I'm. This Any is information you can provide us uh, would be helpful. Well, come on in. Let me close up shop, and I'll be here with you. And uh, he'll shutter his his little thing, and he'll say, "Come on, let's uh, let's go someplace a little more private." Certainly. Okay. And he'll take you to a small, his, uh, actually it's not that small of a boat. It's, it's, it's nice. He's not, by any means, he's not unwealthy. Yeah, Middle class. He's a Yasuki. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, the, so, so that everybody else has an understanding, the Yasuki are known as being the premier merchants and, like, traders of the Empire. They are uh -huh. renowned for being, like, extremely economically minded. I'll put it that way. It's a beautiful boat. Have you have you gentlemen eaten? Uh, we have just arrived in the city. Oh, let me let me get you some rice. Thank I you. I would agree. Appreciate it. So he'll serve you rice. He'll serve you some buns. Nice. He's got a he's got a pretty good setup here. Mm -hmm. And he'll sit down with you. So my family goes way back. Um, to the beginning of the Haruma family. And he'll start telling you about this this ancestor and that ancestor um, and say that these maps have been in his family for a long time. Um, two generations back with his grandmother. 
mm-hmm. um, they uh, they were forced into some political marriages. Um, one's to the crane. One side of the family went to the crane, and the other side went. Uh, well, actually, they were all kind of married off into the crane fam, into the crane clan. But the Yasuki, okay. uh, he was married in the Yasuki. His uh, brothers were married in the Daidoji and the Doji family. But the Yasuki mm-hmm. decided to become crab, changed their allegiances to the crab, and now the, these maps were back in the crab uh, clan again. Okay, what are the maps, if I may ask? What are the maps? They're maps of the Shadowlands, or they're maps of ancestrally Haruma territory. Okay. So that that is beyond the wall now. It's in the Shadowlands, but you could technically use those to get back to Daylight Castle if that's where you were going. The Shadowlands does move around, but maps can still be useful. True. Hmm. Do you, is this person going to Daylight Castle? We're not entirely too sure. We're not sure of her intentions as of this point, but there is... This gives me reason to suspect that she may be headed to either Daylight Castle or to Haruma Lands themselves. Well... Look... Um, I know the trade routes. I know the trade routes and the roads around here. I can get you. Uh, I can take you. I can take you to the wall. If that's where you need to go. Do you know a fast way to get to the, any any uh, part of the wall that would help lead us to Daylight Castle, so that we might cut her off before she arrives? The place closest to Haruma Lands would be um, Spear Dawn, Spear of Dawn Watchtower. Spear of Dawn Watchtower. The roads are pretty well maintained getting up and down uh, the Carpenter's Wall. It's really important for them to get supplies. You said Spears Dawn ca- uh, Watchtower? Spear of Dawn Spear Watchtower. Of Dawn. I've read about stories about the Carpenter's Wall. Yeah, well, look, not every clan knows this, but I, they seem to forget that there was a time that we didn't have a wall. Age, tumultuous time indeed. <clears throat> the Caillou Wall, the Carpenter Wall, or simply the Wall, didn't exist to guard the southern border of Rokugan against the incursions from the Shadowlands. In the earliest days of the Empire, the border was located far farther south, protected by a series of individual towers and defensive works that made it impossible for all but the small, the, a small force of Shadowlands creatures to enter the Empire. Many of these fortifications were maintained by the Haruma family of the Crab, and foremost among them was that family's ancestral seat of power, Daylight Castle, also known simply as Shiro Haruma. While not as imposing as the mighty fortress of Kyuden Hida or Shiro Kaiyu, Shiro Haruma was built not only to withstand determined attacks, but also to stand for long periods under siege. Deep wells and large storehouses allowed it to survive many months of isolation, while numerous tunnels and cunning traps surrounding it made any assault upon it extremely difficult and costly. In the 8th century, however, a new threat rose from the Shadowlands, and Oni now referred to as the Maw. He beat the squabbling lieutenants of Fu Ling, or of, he shouldn't say Fu Ling, <coughs> beat the squabbling lieutenants of the per, that who should not be named into submission, raising an army of unprecedented size and power under its cunning and ruthless leadership. If anyone, 
if anyone ever know it, knew its true name, well, it's lost to history. What is known is that the Haruma were attacked by the Ma's horde before they could realize how grave of a threat they were facing. Their smaller fortifications quickly fell to the Ma's vast army, forcing them to marshal their remaining troops at Shiro Haruma in a desperate last-ditch defense. Through an unspeakable ritual that sent sickening cracks through reality itself, the Ma called numerous Oni directly from the depths of Jigoku, including the dreaded Atsumari no Oni, a demon skilled in the sorcery of snaring souls of the dead. Faced with such foes, the swarming hordes of undead and their own mounting casualties, the Haruma knew it was only a matter of time before Daylight Castle fell to the Maw. The Maw went on to attack the rest of the Crab Clan. For a time, it seems like the clan would fail in its ancestral mission to protect the Empire, and Rokugan would be lost to darkness. Only the courage and sacrifice of a crab shugenja named Kunio Saku, who used a powerful invocation to turn the river of Last Stand into a raging wall of water. He kept the forces of the Ma at bay. For over two months, Osako maintained the floodwaters, giving the crab time to construct the core of what would be the Caillou Wall. The exertion eventually killed Osaku. Ending her ritual. Yeah, Saku's a chick. It's a woman. Mm. When the waters finally receded, the Ma's horde crashed against the newly constructed wall. But the fortification held. The crab struck back, unleashing a powerful counterattack through tunnels they have dug beneath it. In what would be known as the Battle of the Cresting Wave, the Ma was destroyed. And, the for and its forces dispersed, ending the threat to the Empire. In the aftermath, the Crab consolidated and rebuilt their forces. However, although enough members of the Haruma family survived um, that they could recover over time, their lands were lost, becoming yet another corrupted region of the Shadowlands. The loss of their ancestral home, Shiro Haruma, remains a burning shame in the hearts of the Haruma to this day. Many attempts have been made to recover the ruins of the castle, but none have been successful. And that is the story of Daylight Castle. Hmm. Thank you very much. This shines a lot of light on to what I've never known before. <laughs> Atsumari no Oni, this spirit taker you described. Yes. Is there anywhere in this city that I might find more information about this creature? Um. Yeah, I'm. Sh Hida Castle has a much better library about these things. The Kuni definitely know more about it than anybody. But, uh. The Cooney Witch Hunter in town does keep a library. I, I would speak to that person. <clears throat> I thank you for your time and your hospitality, Yasuki-san. Um, I, I, I feel like we will need to, um, to lean upon your assistance even further in traveling, making our way down to this um, Spears, Spear of Dawn cat, uh, watchtower in order to head off the threat. I do not know exactly what this this woman seeks in the dawn, the daylight castle, but it can be no good. Yeah, it's very troubling. I I I need to go and research more on what you've informed us about, so that I can be, so that we might be prepared for what we might face. Um, I, I'm going to go and seek out the assistance of this Cooney as you recommend. Um, well, apparently I need to go see this Cooney too. I might need a, to be perhaps, cleansed. Perhaps we could travel together. <laughs> so you, everyone leaves 
And as you're walking down the road, you see uh, Hidden Nozomi. What? Hey! <laughs> How'd it go? That was for the uh, for the previous story. Oh yeah, that sounds pretty horrifying, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome to Crablands. <laughs> Population, everything terrible. <laughs> Some really nice people. Yeah. Once you get to know them and become part of them. Yeah, that's quite. You don't become one with the crab, the crab become one with you. The Caillou says, Ah, we'll bow. Hita san. Good day. Good day. Ah, uh, Nozomi. <clears throat> we have found the Yasuki. Uh, we are on our way. I trust he was unharmed? From what we can tell, it seems as though he was not injured. However, he did mention that he was drugged by this woman. Mm. We, are, we are on our way to meet with the Kuni witch hunter at residence in the magistrate's office. You wish to accompany us? Yes. Uh, let's stick together. Indeed. We also found out some information that suggests that this woman might be heading to uh, Daylight Castle. So I'm going to try to research some information that might help us to understand better what her intentions are. Uh, though Yasuki san has graciously offered to help us travel toward um, Spear of Dawn. Watchtower. I'm not sure if you are very familiar with the area, but I'm hoping that if we can travel there quickly, we might be able to head her off before she arrives at Daylight Castle. <sighs> we can only hope. Well. Uh, well. She has uh, maps now. She'll Indeed, have a significant Definitely advantage unless we can find some ourselves. I'm hoping that, that my research will give us some insight onto how, from the sounds of it, there may be traps laying in wait for us if we try to head directly to Daylight Castle. Which oh, of course. Is, is um, I, I do not know if we are even permitted to go beyond the wall. So, uh, <laughs> I'm not crap. <laughs> uh, KG will speak up and say, uh, well, you, you probably won't need maps. I mean, we have scouts at the wall. They can take you to Haruma Castle. Indeed. That is helpful. Are, are, are we, I, I will look over. Actually, can I get a government check or something like that to, to figure out what is the legality of us actually traipsing into okay. Crabland? Okay. Yeah. To the wall? Make a, uh, I don't know. I, sh I should get my, my GM screen out, but I didn't. <laughs> Maybe like a government fire? Um, no, nah, it's not going to be theorized. It's going to be, um, it's going to be, it's down here. You just set it up. I'm going to say it's earth to recall what you what the legality is earth okay um i also have well that's not really gonna help but I, I have a uh, interest in history so this might be helpful for it but all it does is let me remove strife and i don't really have any strife so we'll, we'll keep that in mind if i get a bunch oh, of strife yeah. on this roll Okay. All right. That's what passions are for. Yep. Nice. Ooh. Okay, well, that helps because <laughs> I won't take all three of those strife at least. Uh, all right. Okay, so three or two successes and an opportunity. Okay, what the legality of it is. Um, well, the crab go beyond the wall all the time um so they can just do it. it if you need to as an emerald magistrate if you need to go after criminals that leave the empire you can 
it's not uh you, <laughs> it just seems kind of dumb <laughs> you can well, track yeah. a criminal however far you want um also could we call upon resources though and like what you can do um but to go across the wall of course requires the permission of the crab it's You can get, like, the Hita Daimyo or, uh, yeah, if you could probably get the Hita Daimyo's personal per, uh, permission to get across, uh, that would clear up any matter whatsoever. Otherwise, you'll probably just have to talk to whatever captain or gunsa, whatever captain or sergeant or whoever's in charge of that particular watchtower to let you across. Which would, would be the most direct match. and efficient way of doing it, because trying to talk to a daimyo would... <laughs> time, is of, time is of the essence, and we don't have the status to really requi request a, a... An audience uh, with the daimyo. The, <laughs> especially the Hita daimyo. Like, Kasada is not an easy guy to be like, hey, talk to me, buddy. Let's, uh, let's make a deal here. The government response from Trevor Olsen. Why would you even want to? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. yeah. But I, I was more like, as an Emerald Magistrate, can I levy any resources to actually say, like, under the jurisdiction of the blah, 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 Um, you could say I am pursuing a, uh, I'm pursuing somebody, <laughs> and that should be enough. Okay. As an Emerald Magistrate, I am pursuing a, a criminal. They are in the, the Shadowlands, they've gone beyond the wall. I need to go there. Hmm. I'm not a Jade Magistrate. I feel like they would have a lot more <laughs> jurisdiction wow. on this whole thing. Oh, I didn't know there was anything beyond Emerald Mag Magistrate. There are no... Okay, Jade Magistrate right is old, old L5R thing. It's old 5R. Yeah. <laughs> There's no uh, Jade Magistrate's in new L5R. Ah. Uh, old 5R. So, um, <laughs> you guys go to the Cooney's place. The Cooney Witch Hunter's place of work. And it is this like gloomy hut with. Disturbing. There's like a pheasant hanging from the patio outside. Like it's uh, just a dead pheasant hanging there. Mm. Mm. This looks like he would make a good meal. I look over at the Hita, like, is this normal? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what, have you never been to a Cooney hut before? Come on. <laughs> You're all over the place. Uh, all right. Uh, how, do, how do we announce ourselves to the Cooney? Um, the, the Yusuke <laughs> walks up to the door and hits the little bell. And mm. the door opens and there is a man there with insane like this insane wig that is that is the size of his entire body a totally white face with red eyeshadow that creates line a, a line that goes all the way down his face then little red lines that come out from the side of his face he looks like a kabuki actor more than uh like somebody who would work in law enforcement <laughs> <laughs> seems legit let's go inside and ask to see his legal library he he looks oh yusuke san oh <sighs> who who are this who are you uh, excuse me pardon me i <clears throat> i am kuni toshimichi Who am I addressing? Hida Nozomi. Tadashi Tatsuo. Shiba Inoue. I am Ikomakage, an Emerald Magistrate. As am I. Oh, Magistrate. Hmm. I've heard of you. <laughs> Indeed, I've been told by our Yusuke friend that you might be. Uh, the person I'm looking for help from. 
Right. He puts my hand, come in! And he turns around and walks into the door. Walks back inside the building. I kind of... I like this guy's personality. In I kind of go. move around the pheasant and then go inside. As you walk in, there is a smell that hits you. It is like heavily incensed in here. Like somebody has been burning all of the incense, like the jasmine <laughs> and the and the amber and the like, what. Like if there's a I use as to how he can I, breathe in here. I was I was worried that you were gonna say it smells like a butcher shop, but worse. It smells like, like oh, death in here. Oh. There are animal pelts on the walls. Um. <laughs> I get curious. Because it does not work. look like a normal samurai's place. On the the uh, on the <laughs> it, tables, it looks like a normal Cooney witch hunter's place. It does. <laughs> on the tables, there are burning incenses, but there's also like little burners with like glass vials on them, with oh, a liquid fun. that's kind of bubbling, and then the gas is being trapped in another container. Stuff like that's just happening everywhere. So, so he's he's got a laboratory, a little <laughs> mini laboratory. And he's he's a he's a meth head. He's he's cooking meth. He's cooking <laughs> meth in here. You need that it really to keep loud. the to keep the Haruma uh, on their toes. You gotta, you know, the, when you're guarding the wall, you gotta stay awake. Gotta <laughs> it's called go juice here. <laughs> uh. All right, I, 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 uh... Sit down, sit down. Please. There are some pillows. Um, they don't look 100% clean. <laughs> I sit down. Well, it's a good thing Bibles. we're not naked, I guess. He grabs uh, a bunch of, uh, of cups and he just kind of tosses them on the table. And then he gets a big pot. Like, this pot is, like, huge. <laughs> with stale tea. <laughs> and he just pours it into each one of them. Actually, what and am I saying? The crab what? takes tea really and seriously. And then hangs it back up. This might be the it's, best tea we've ever It's the only thing he drinks. Cup, he said, matter. and then he goes, and then he goes, uh, 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 he goes, oh, one second, I did this, and it did this backwards. He takes out a tin, he opens it up and throws a, a bunch of leaves into each one of the, the teacups. <laughs> then he puts the, the tin back on. By the way, he opens that up, and the tea even overpowers the smell of the incense around here as he puts the thing back on. He, <laughs> I'm like, ooh, this is gonna be good. <laughs> uh, I just breathe uh, deep. <laughs> I, I was just uh, yeah, jokingly say, I checked my cup, my cup is uh, full of powder. <laughs> And I'm co uh, covered in powder. It's like, what the hell? It's not, these aren't powder. This is leaves. leaves. I know, I know. I was joking. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll take a seat, mm. like shift around to try to get comfortable on the dirty seat and then like steep my tea a bit. I, I could just imagine like uh, a Komakage minutes? just like, you know, try, uh, trying to make it comfortable for himself like a cat. Like basically, yeah. I just kind of like <laughs> wiggle a bit, knead the pillow below me until it uh, curls up into I a just ball. imagine they're like they're well so set in like they're, they're they're seats that have been like pillows that have been sat in a lot, so they're like stiff in a position that has stayed there for a while. You know what I mean? So now I'm just trying to like loosen the up. Are so he says, "Um, you are here looking for Mehotsukai that has been." Going all down the coast, killing people in his wake. Correct. Your wisdom is as keen as the Togashi's. Let me tell you, I have I been can, scanning this town for any sort of Meho Sukai activity, any sort of Maho, and there has been none, not a glimmer. I do not doubt you, but unfortunately, it would seem that our suspect has traveled through here. Perhaps she did not use any of her capabilities in order to to fly below the radar. That would have been smart of her. Well, uh, our, our friend here was drugged. She wouldn't have had to use any spells if he was unconscious. Hmm. Yusuke, uh, uh, Yusuke says, uh, yeah, did, did she, I, they said I might need to be cleansed? He just looks at him and says, you 
You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> There's nothing on you. I would have noticed I was looking for it. He's like, skedaddle! And the dude like... <laughs> Shit. He's all like... <sighs> you had nothing to worry about. So are you looking for tactics on how to defeat a Sukai? All of the above, my friend. I, I am hoping that I could utilize your knowledge as a resource to learn some more information about the things that we seek. It would seem that her destination is set on Daylight Castle, which is disturbing in its own right. However, the story I was told about uh, uh, about Daylight Castle by Yasuki-san led me to believe, well, le led me to a singular point that seemed pressing as a matter. This Atsumari no Oni. Ah, yes, the soul stealer. Precisely. This, this creature as described by Yasuki-san sounds very familiar. Reports have come in about this woman that we are tracking, this Sukai, that she steals souls and summons up the the uh, spirits of the long dead. I am wondering if she might be seeking to recall this Oni or unleash some darkness into ca into the dark the daylight castle. I was hoping that you might be able to provide me with resources that I might study and prepare us for what we might face. That's all you want, is Atsumari no Oni? Yeah. I cannot give you the scroll. I can let you borrow it, or you could make a transcription. I would be more than happy to transcribe it. I would not wish to steal your resources away from you. I can give for, you what I have, of course. For, for indeed, this sounds to me like a very dangerous task that we undertake. And if I were to... You know, oh, uh, it's I'm, highly dangerous. Precisely. <laughs> if I were not to return, I would not like to take away what resources you have. Maho's spells are subtle. Whereas a Shugenja can hurl bolts of lightning and move the earth itself. Maho's more insidious. One day, you'll wake up sick. <clears throat> And it'll just keep getting worse and worse as the light drains from your body and you die a sickly, hollow shell of yourself. That is Maho. One of our own has already experienced that. Being cursed. He, he looks at all of you and then kind of looks at the Tagashi and says, I uh, cleansed. I cleansed him. But oh, good thing you did. He understands the, the danger of a Maho. Mm -hmm. That experience definitely can help you in this. There are Maho spells that can make your worst fears come alive. Yes, yes, a samurai has no fears. Whatever. Of course. Pedantics. We all know there are things out there that can curdle any samurai's stomach. Those without fear are those who haven't had to face their a sukai can make those come to life for you. They can show it to you head on. And some samurai are changed for life. They say the crab are the bravest. We are the ones who fight the shadow. And for the most part, they're true. We study our whole lives to make sure that we are steadfast against it. But there are those of us who don't make it. Those of us who become lost. And if we, the crab, can fall to this, 
then other clans who have not trained are especially susceptible. Make sure you carry Jade with you. Always. I will be sure to. They can get fend some. off. Yes, they can fend off corruption. Meditation is important. Controlling your own body, controlling your own fears. These things are of utmost importance. Making sure your body is fit is very important. Train body, mind, and soul together. And then maybe you'll have a chance against the Shadowlands. Atsumari no Oni can steal one's soul at a glance, and then creates an army of these souls bent to his own will. But fortunately, he died at Haruma Castle. There has been no sight of this Oni. We soon banished back to Jigoku. But, as they say, you name the devil and they shall appear. I fear the worst out of this witch. Do you think she intends to resurrect such th such a creature? Yes. I would not... I would not... I would not suspect to read the mind of a madwoman, but if it is indeed her goal, we must not let that pass. It is. It's hard. Uh, a very difficult proposition to want to summon an Oni. Oni, they don't want to be enthralled by a sorceress. They'd rather just kill the person. So it's a dubious proposition. I'm wondering if they have something to gain from doing so. If a Maho Sukai were to summon an Oni that could steal someone's soul, there's very little to stop it from stealing their soul. Even in a soul caller? Excuse me? Even a soul caller. A soul caller? You, someone who can, who can summon spirits of the Correct. dead? Correct. We, we know not for sure, but we have some suspicion that this individual might be um, communing with spirits, though all eyewitness testimony is Mm. You're say it best. <laughs> After all that we've seen, I have I look no at you and go. Have we seen any spirit called? No, but we have encountered spirits before. Or should I say, has happened well, before? If this person can summon ancestral spirits, it opens up a whole new can of worms. Can or do we have cans? Is that a thing in Rokugan? <laughs> a jar of worms. Yeah, this <laughs> this, said, this opens Raider up a. Earlier, and that's not a thing. So. This creates a whole new bowl of noodles. <laughs> this creates a whole more delectable bowl of soba. <laughs> Yes, you have your work cut out for you, Lion San. Be glad you have the uh, uh, Hida Nozomi with you. I I appreciate her every day. <laughs> well, uh, I'll go get the scrolls from my library, and you can transcribe them at your leisure. Thank you. Arigato. And uh, he'll go ahead and grab those scrolls. When he turns around and walks out of like the room, I'll look over at the Shiva and go, before we make assumptions, let us be certain and have evidence. If we have learned nothing in our Emerald Magistrate training, it should be that taking any action or naming any names before we have proper evidence is the wrong thing to do. Honestly, we've gotten very far with 
things that aren't exactly tangible, even such thing as evidence, through, for example, Tagashi-san's um, insight, as well as a, um, a drunk mantis and a mehosuka himself, or a gaijin pirate and slaver, are not credible sources of information. Before we make any stipulations that could lead to further turmoil in the empire, let us be sure of what we speak of, especially in front of those of another clan. You hear one of the vials pop and wheeze. <laughs> I look over really disturbed and worried now that something happened. <laughs> look over at the Hita like, should should we should we move? <laughs> I'm just stating that despite despite everything that you say, we need to trust our guts just as much as evidence, even if it's something that's intangible. Perhaps that is fine for us in this group, but when it comes to rumors spread amongst other clans. Those rumors can start much larger conflicts that we are not looking to start. We have a duty to serve, not to spread rumors and gossip. I'm not spreading rumors and gossip. We have the evidence of the fact that we have a Mahosukai. Um, we don't know their capabilities, but we can't say that that's not entirely possible. The very fact that they have maps to the Shadowlands towards said castle. Suggesting that it's a Kitsu spirit caller is beyond the realm of evidence. We have seen no actual evidence for them. And claiming that to a crab, that the Kitsu might be tainted and a Mehosukai The Kuni walks back in. <laughs> well, here are the scrolls. He has like four of them and he puts them down. Arigato, Sama, uh, Kunisama. I will we'll be quick with these. I will pull out a, a, a small ink set and uh, start transcribing the, the scrolls. And under and the I other arm, he has like this table that he puts on top of the table that adjusts, that can adjust the height. It's very nice for calligraphy, for doing okay, calligraphy. Perfect, yeah. Excellent. Shouldn't so take me too much my, time. My uh, crane calligraphy set. And I start right now uh, transcribing. <laughs> it'll, is... it'll take me. It'll take me less time. Just to give you a heads up, if if, <laughs> if you don't, if you if you. Well, if you, you both can do it. At yeah. the same, there's four uh, scrolls. Uh, four I'm, I'm going to be tra transcribing sets. your scrolls as well. The ones that you've already done. Okay. So. I will kind of look strangely at you translating the stuff that I've already, or transcribing the stuff that I've already transcribed, but initially I'm not going to really pay it too much mind. Hmm. Like, uh, uh, it's just want backups to the backups? You never know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's my assumption. But, but I guess people will notice that I work very quickly on this. Yeah. So you guys work hard transcribing these scrolls. They are large scrolls with a lot of information. Um, but you're able to do it by uh, by the evening, and you are insanely hungry afterwards. All right, what about the other two of you? What are you guys doing? The Yusuki's like, i am got to head back to my shop, and if I'm going to take ferry you guys to the wall, I've got to get some supplies together. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Is that all right? <laughs> anyway, we, I'll look over at the Yusuki and yes. go, do you know where we might be able to acquire some jade? That's what I was going to ask. They should have that at the wall. Good. Very good. If right. you're going uh, past the wall, they're not going to send you out there without protection. Good. Thank you. A little bit of extra wouldn't hurt. As I'm transcribing, I'm like, um, Hida-san, I do want to speak with you a little later about something private. Okay. By the way, Tarek, you have an appointment in this town. I do. But I was about to say, it only takes me half the time to, to do any transcribing or research because of mm -hmm. Rufus's blessing. Yeah. So I'll, I might finish a little early and then head off to the coma. Okay. So what is uh, Hida and Tagashi doing? 
I do not know what to do in the meantime, because... Oh. Number one, I don't even have a calligraphy set. Well, your dad's in town. You can go hang out with your dad. <laughs> I do inquire. I'm like, so how is your father doing? As I'm just, you know, transcribing slowly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's doing well. That's good to hear. Yes. It's good to see him. Been it's longer than I expected. Him. I presume you caught up and filled him in on your new status? Yes. He seems like a fine man. Yes. I roll up the scrolls. The guy is, a, he's like Andre the Giant sized. <laughs> he's really big. Yeah. <laughs> I look up. I'm quite he's like a son of big. <clears throat> I, I, I I talked to the uh, the witch hunter and like those markings on your face are quite interesting. I would like to know more about them if you uh, ah, if you can. Re they're Cooney tradition. Ah, you see the Cooney are fierce, and we you must show we show no fear in the face of the Shadowlands, and that's what our makeup shows. That's fantastic. Very fearsome. Everyone knows at a glance who we are and what we intend to do. I'm sure that makes the crab feel very safe. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mistake our intention. But that was kind of you to say. <laughs> Roll up another scroll. He uh, walks over to a vial. He pulls it out. He sniffs it. Mm, puts it back. Gets a little potion. I drop something in there. Puts it back. Puts it back onto the the rack where it was. <laughs> if you don't mind my asking, pulls out what another, is it that you're making? Pulls out a scroll. Writes something down with a with a twig and some ink. Yes. Ah, uh, I actually. It's cooney business. Couldn't tell ya. <laughs> All right. What he's not telling everyone is that it's just to make him look magical and special. <laughs> he oh, doesn't really do not, anything. I thought you were going to say he's uh, he's secretly making his own makeup. Yes. <laughs> Cooney business. Crap. He, he, he pours it all together, goes poof, and then he, and it's like white paste and he puts it on his face. <laughs> It helps to exfoliate the, the skin. <laughs> so I finish up the scrolls. Trevor, and I Trevor Olsen says a cage rattles in the next room. <laughs> <laughs> you hear the yipping of a, of a tied up goblin. Like, <laughs> Quiet! You were disturbing Kick. your business. <laughs> yeah, Cooney, Cooney legit, actually, they're, they keep crazy company. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> So I hand back the scrolls that I finished. Here you are. Thank you for allowing us to transcribe them. Well, um, so yes, I, I have finished here. I, I have a, an appointment I must keep. Yeah, it takes a while for you guys to finish, but uh, uh, I'm sorry. Um, does do the Takashi, do you leave or are you just going to hang out there? Well, I was thinking about hanging out there, but... Okay, the you can moment. hang out, and Nozomi, is he and Nozomi gonna... <sighs> well, since I'm not being of any help, I figured I would just uh, say I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay. And, uh... Mm -hmm. Just a minute, I would like a word with you. Oh, well, he wants you to stay. <laughs> uh, can you join me outside? Let's take a walk. Sure. And how's Momo faring with uh, this place that's full of smells? Probably oh, he is in seventh heaven. He loves it. He's sniffing every little thing. <laughs> By the way, the tea was really delicious and super strong. And kind of mm. when you drink it, it overpowers everything else in the room. Ah. Uh, but it to. is 
It is not bitter in the least. So uh, smooth. Huh? It's so smooth. I it's will, like I will drink enough to like keep me going throughout the uh, the the transcribing. It, it's probably because of all those interesting smells uh, in his uh, abode. That no, the crab actually just have out. legit the best tea in the empire. They're they're renowned for having some of the best tea, like it's, leaves and. and cultivation of tea. It's actually a really starchy tea. Starchy? starchy. Tea. Yeah. <laughs> like, it kind of tastes like drinking rye bread. Huh. Near beer-like consistency. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> beer tea. That's what we're drinking. Beer tea. Beer tea. <laughs> it's got all the things to keep you fed on the wall. <laughs> And no you alcohol, notice, too. you notice, like when you're done drinking the tea, the stuff you put in there, like the leaves floated, but apparently there were um, roasted pieces of rice and barley in this tea. Ooh. Okay. Nice. So, <laughs> as long as it's caffeinated enough to keep me going. Oh, super caffeinated. So you, uh. Uh, Inoue and Nozomi are walking down the street. Singing do a diddy, what did you need to talk diddy, about? Diddy, diddy, I'm sorry? Well, what did you need to talk about? Um, I'd like to discuss with you uh, some things I'd actually uh, would like to ask you about in terms of uh, the merchant that we spoke with. And um, the information he told me kind of revealed something and i just wanted to you know verify information was that the crab seemed to um marry off to different uh families and um the harumi family in particular um and that i found that interesting and i just wanted to ask you uh, if you have any ties with um, the Harumi family. The Ruma. Well, pretty Haruma. much everyone is connected to the Hiruma family. Okay, so you, would you have any more, any more information with them that obviously I probably couldn't get from um, the merchant? Or... Did you just discover this? Or, I mean, I'm not trying to pry or anything, but um, to, be perf to be perfectly frank with you, um, uh, I need to uh, gain a lot of information in dealing with the Haruma and specifically um, the Daylight Castle and its involvement. So you can so... tell him general knowledge about the Haruma that you may not know out of character, which is that um, the Haruma, because she would know this, the Haruma mm -hmm. is the smallest family in the crab uh, clan. <laughs> or it is now. <laughs> because they don't have uh, 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 really an ancestral home. Anymore. Okay. Um, they are known mostly as scouts. They have the highest endurance. That's what they are known for. And uh, many times... <laughs> I guess that's where I get all my fitness from. <laughs> many times they will, they will go past the wall and scout out what the Shadowlands are doing and report back. So uh, a like brigade of Hida can go and just smash it. Mm -hmm. But they are They'll basically the eyes and the ears of the Crab Clan. They're also known to go out there for a long time. Too. Oh, yeah. They, they'll, yeah. they'll be out there for months, sometimes just scouting to find out what's going on. Okay. Um, as of it. political power, they have very little of it. Okay. So they need to make alliances where they can. Hmm. And that's why there's a lot of intermingling with the Fruma family. Like, uh, 
they they will sometimes marry off a person in in far off places and sometimes uh, and 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 a lot of times they'll want to bring people in from powerful places to marry into their family hmm. okay well thank you for talking with me uh kita san i appreciate any any and all information um it really helps me a lot and i appreciate it i'm glad i could help So uh, you go back to doing your scroll work. Um, scroll work. <laughs> Nozomi, you go talk to your dad. And yeah, I, I figure he'll let me stay the night with him. Yeah, he of course he will. And he'll say, if you're going to Daylight Castle, um, let's... It, if there's any way you could possibly redeem our ancestor... That would be an amazing accomplishment, amazing thing to do. Hmm. What do you mean by redeeming our ancestor? Uh, if you do a great deed or achievement there, in your ancestor's name, it would alleviate the shame of that ancestor. Okay, is there someone in particular you had in mind? Yes, our Haruma ancestor. That was that died at Daylight Castle. Oh, I don't remember you saying anything about that. We had an entire discussion about it. <laughs> it was in it was in your character backstory, wasn't it? That's why you, you no. your family isn't a, oh. Remember he said we have a Haruma ancestor. Yeah. Right, who died at Daylight Castle, but don't tell anybody about it because he died in uh, because he died in a losing battle, and it's a shame on the family. Oh, I didn't catch anything about you saying like th they died at the castle. Yes, his name was uh, Huma Ko. What did I say his name was? I don't know. Like the only name that you mentioned to me was Hiruma Roka, Roka. who is in this town. Was there... No, Haruma Roka. That's the guy. Okay. That's I your ancestor. I thought you were talking about some person who lived in this village. No, I was talking about our, your family. He's an ancestor who died at Daylight Castle. He's an ancestor of yours. And if you could do something uh, great... In their name, at Shiruma, at Shiro Haruma, then we can redeem ourselves, and you can, uh, we can freely talk about this ancestor again. Consider it done. So, um, let's fast forward time. Kage, you get done with your scrolls first. Okay. I will thank the, uh, the Kuni for his assistance. Um, and I will tell him, um, if he would allow me as much, I would like to, uh, later tonight or maybe in the morning before I leave, study with him and whatever he has to teach me about withstanding uh, or hunting Mehosuke. Okay. He'll give you a few tip uh, pointers in the morning. And then I'll head over to start speaking with the Ikoma. Look look for him. Okay. Um, What did I say his name was again? Ikoma. I have it written down. Give me a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should have wrote this stuff down. <laughs> I'm a bad game master. And you complain Ikoma about Tori. us not doing anything. Excuse me? Terry? Ikomatori. Ikomatori. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, there's a small house with a Dragon Clan banner in front of it. A Dragon Clan? I'm sorry. Lion Clan banner in front of it. Yeah, that it confused seems to me be, too. I'm like, huh? It seems to be a local embassy. 
Okay. I will walk up and ring the bell. All right. A servant will appear. Yes, um, this is the uh, the Lion Embassy, the residence of uh, Ekomatori. I, I bow graciously and go, uh, Ohio, I am uh, Ikoma Kage, an Emerald Magistrate, and I was informed that I might find one Ekomatori here. My master has been expecting you. Please come I in. I apologize for keeping him waiting. As you walk in, um, the place is spotless. The walls are crisp white. The floors are shiny wood. Um, you take off your sandals and there is another set of sandals there for you to wear inside. Okay, I'll put them on. Um, you are led into a room with a large like piece of art painted into the into the walls of um Shiro Ikoma I will sit down take a seat in the in the I'm assuming this is like a Yeah, it's a like waiting a waiting room. 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 I'll take a seat and pull my swords out and like place them beside me on the ground and kind of look around feeling kind of proud to, to be in a place where other Ikoma are. It's been so, so long after a little bit, the servant returns. He says, uh, my master will see you. Please. Of course. The door Stand opens, up. and there's kind of a long hall. It, it, it's, it's kind of a short room, but there are many pillows there, and there's a, a seat where a man sits uh, with his shoulder resting on his knee, and a very long pipe that he takes slow drags off of. Oh, he's definitely a, uh, 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 uh what are they called? The frog? A Keru? No, he's not a Keru. He's not a Keru? No. He has very long, long black hair that kind of cascades down his shoulders. So we look similar. I have long black hair, too, that I don't tie up. <laughs> I'll, I'll kind of give him a, uh, an acknowledging smile and, and walk in and give him a, a very gracious bow. He will return your bow. He will stand and return your bow and sit back down as he takes a long drag off his pipe. I'll, I'll take a seat and put my swords out in a non-combative position in front of me and kneel down on one of the pillows. Ikoma-sama. Akoma Kage san, you. I hope you're feeling well. Well, it has been a long journey, but I am well enough to continue. That scar looks real. I will flip up my eye patch and go indeed it is real I, I what I, happened I, to you as he takes another long drag off his pipe <laughs> I um I met a kenku I was challenged to a duel by a, a kenku who don't you mean tengu interchangeable words yeah yeah they are tengu um, who has since taught me a great deal about swordsmanship and the importance of understanding one's enemy. Kenku secrets. Impressive. It was quite enlightening. Fair price to pay. Perhaps. I suppose we should get down to business. Indeed. Oh, before we do... Do you partake of, uh, would you like a pipe? Certainly. A servant will appear with another Kaseru and, uh, will then, uh, on a tray with three different types of, uh, of smoking weed. Okay. 
my character doesn't really know much about smoking weed, so he'll just kind of pick one and then <laughs> let's try it. Anyway. Try that one. Yeah. The servant will will uh, uh, strike a match and light your uh, light your pipe. Okay, I'll give it a, a soft hit first, just to like prepare myself for the the smoke inhalation. So I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say uh, fitness check to not cough your lungs out. Yeah, you can make a, make a fitness check. Make a make a to fitness not air. A in front of this guy. Make a fitness air check to see air. if you don't. Yeah, because it's your it's air. His lungs. Yeah. His lungs. That's fitting. Right. It's fitting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, well, you could spend the opportunity to uh, to you know make it look. So you uh, give off a few coughs. You, <clears throat> you decide that this stuff probably isn't for you. You don't hack up your lungs or anything. You don't kind of embarrass yourself, but you're like, "Whew, I don't, is, I don't know if this real, is for me." <laughs> this is real strong stuff. I will, I will continue to puff on it, but I won't inhale. That way, I don't like, like, you, like insult just suck him it into your yeah. mouth. <laughs> just like mouthwash it. So, I've got a, uh, one of our fastest runners came down to me. There was, uh, talk of a kitsu that you were following. And they did some research. They found out that this is kitsu, uh, so, Sokori. This woman is a threat to the Lion Clan. It would bring great shame upon us. That this... It brings great shame upon us that this person exists. It's a shame... A great shame. Because this woman... Is super her brother died in a great illness. Her father is devastated about the entire ordeal. And now, she is seen to be a Maho Sukai. I weep for this family, but what must be done must be done. She must be expunged from this realm as she is being expunged from our records. Indeed. Is that that shame exp expending? Uh is that, blah, blah, blah. Is that <laughs> shame being extended to her family as well? The Sodan Senzo are one of our most honored and treasured resources. resources. We are doing everything we can to preserve the honor of that institution. I am glad to hear that. No shame can befall those who speak to our ancestors. Understood. Now, Kage-san, I know you are a simple bard. And I'd hate to suggest you do anything that would unbecome a samurai. But I'd like to know, how devoted are you in this mission? Ikoma once said that he must, he would do what he must for the honor and the glory of the Lion Clan. If he has taken on such a duty, I must also be willing to take on such a duty. For clan, and for family, and for the honor not only of ourselves, but the Empire. That is well said. 
he'll wave over the servant. The servant will come up to him. He'll produce a vial. He'll place it on the tray. The servant will then walk over to you and uh, bow and present to you this vial that's on the tray. I will take it up with one hand. My good eye. (laughs) I see. Burn the body. As close to the wall, I'm sure it is a necessity. We will make will sure. Put if... the vial into my 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 uh, kimono sleeve. If this deed is done, we will make sure that your stories, your uh, honor, is sung throughout the halls of the Lion Clan. Again. I will do whatever we must to preserve the honor of the lion. Yes. But you are a bard and you need your glory. This I, I this is important he, for us. Before he continues, I go Indeed I I indeed I started my life as a bard. Now I am a magistrate. And I look to preserve the Empire as a whole. The Lion Clan is a part of that Empire. And shame and and uh, and criminality is to be punished. Yes, indeed. Those who seek to dishonor those who brought them into this world are traitors. What is what? good what is good for the Lion Clan is of course good for the Empire. We are in agreement. This embassy is at your disposal, Akoma Kage-san. My servant Koto, he'll see to, to any of your needs. Arigato. You do me an honor. Um, we will be having dinner soon. Would you like to join me? I have not eaten yet, so I would, of course, accept your invitation. Very well. And we'll end that scene there. (laughs) As the lion get high as a kite. (laughs) (laughs) I have a shrine or two to visit. (laughs) All right. um, Shiba-san, you are done with your scrolls. Yes. I bound them up and um, massage your it. arm <laughs> hmm? and massage your arm. <laughs> yeah. It's like, how do you do it so quickly? <laughs> um, I actually will head. Um, I'll actually head over to the sake house. Okay. What about you, Takashi-san? Well, I will go ahead and uh, check out um, any shrine or temple that is uh, over in the city. And perhaps uh, do some prayers, meditations, or cleansing that needs to be done. Ah, good. Excellent. Those are all good ideas to do. So you Mm -hmm. go to the shrines and you pray to the kami and get their blessings. While well, Shiba-san goes to the sake house and picks up women, <laughs> Get, does does some no, gambling. I actually, I actually drink some sake while I um, write out the information that I received about uh, the Haruma, um, what I'm dealing with at the current moment, um, any knowledge that I've gained along with the scrolls, um, and then I go and actually send them to my master. Oh, excellent. 
And you'll find a messenger to send that information back to Phoenix Lands. Got it. Okay. I th um, oh, please. Before we end the game, maybe we can make it a little more ominous. Maybe I should use Lord Tagashi's insight since I haven't used it at all. This sure. Game Go ahead. While at the shrine, you can meditate and use Lord Togashi's insight. All right. Okay, so... Right. Meditation void. Ooh. Ooh. Man. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep that explosive success and see what it has to offer for me. All right, so... All right, so More success. successes. I'll take that opportunity with the success, and I will also take the other success as well. Okay, you need only two successes. Oh, okay. Oh, oh he's got two extra. Mm -hmm. I better be getting some good sh uh, hints for this one. <laughs> All right, let me go ahead and type. You see a vision of the Maho Sukai and her minions on her boat traveling up a river into the Shadowlands. Daylight Castle is in the distance. you get closer to Daylight Castle, you see the heads of giant bipedal rats poke up and look out over the scarred and desolate landscape. You hear Togashi's voice saying, even in the depths of the Shadowlands, you will find allies. And that's your vision. Corey? Yes. Before the end of the night, my character will ask the, the servant in the, the embassy if he can get a message, if he knows how I can get a message to somebody in Crane Lands. Yeah, he can definitely send that message for you. Cool. I want to send a message. The girl that, that my character is being blackmailed about is named Do Doji Sayori. And I'm going to write a very uh, poetic letter to her that if she reads into it well, will warn her that the Kikita might come out with the information of what oh knows. yeah you're gonna you're gonna write your one-time paramour a warning letter okay exactly. but coded because now i've learned not to be directed in misses that could be intercepted <laughs> especially in green <clears throat> how would she understand how to decode it uh, it's going to be in, in, in poetry, and I'm assuming ah. that as a doji, she will understand the rhythm of poetry. Okay. Also, then make a culture like... roll. Culture or... Okay. okay no, this is definitely culture. Okay. Since you're talking about something that the two of you know about, but other people don't, it would be easier for her to understand it anyway. This is going to be a culture... It could be air for cunning, or it could be fire for inventive. So either I'll, one of those. I'll choose fire. Okay. And I'll spend a void. This is important. 
because my character actually I don't know if you remember this but my character actually left terms with her on a positive note you did but the Kikita kind of ruined our ruined game. everything <laughs> uh okay there we go That's good. You'll need some uh, opportunity for this, so... Okay, I'm gonna re-roll the, the explosive success and see if I can get anything out of that. Opportunity. Right. There you go. So I'll keep um, the two successes and then the two opportunity. Okay. That'll be good enough for... Uh, like, the opportunity will allow you to make sure the letter goes through more uh, more official channels that wouldn't lead it to be opened. And the successes will make sure that it is a code that you and her can understand uh, and hopefully nobody else can. Okay, good. Okay. It seems like you, you hope the letter gets there and that the message is received. I'll, I'll, I'll also, in in the, the message, let her know that I'm on a dangerous mission and that I may not survive this. That's that's probably true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, we're going to wrap up the game here. It's been four hours, yep. so we're, we are done. We got through Act 1. We actually got through one act of Part 1 of Mask of the Oni. Sweet. We'll start next game out with uh, part two. I'll give y'all four experience points. Nice. And are, are there any honor or dishonor award? No. Not. I don't think so. Not really. Okay. No honor, no glory. Um. No glory, obviously. <laughs> not yet. Actually, no, that's not true. Y'all are tracking down a Mehosukai, and word has gotten out about that. So because you're doing, uh, because you're doing that, I'm gonna give everybody one point of glory. Cool. All right, my honor matches my glory. Fifty-six, fifty-six. <laughs> nice. I'm at 60 and 57. Alright guys, um, thanks for playing. I hope you all had fun. Yeah. I hope you're looking forward to next week. We'll, I we'll super do, am. We'll this do is part... getting interesting. <laughs> this is going to be super deadly. I'm like, <laughs> I, I'm I already... want to see the Shadowlands. <laughs> my, my character is already preparing for like, I'm going to die on this mission. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too hot-headed and I have no experience in the Shadowlands. <laughs> I want. I really want to see the Shadowlands. It's a cold, desolate waste of death filled with putrid <laughs> pools of, of of water and rivers of blood. I can't wait. It's <laughs> <laughs> gonna be awesome. I mean, like, obviously not in character, but like, actually, me, in character, your Crystal, might I want to see like, it. Yes, <laughs> I get to prove myself out in the wild. <laughs> the wildest I wild. I think I'll go ahead and like spend that experience points to upgrade my rank in theology too. All right. Well, we'll do that. Not a bad idea. We'll, we'll do that off camera. So uh, thanks for watching if you're watching, and uh, we'll see you next week on Cyber Samurai. Goodbye.